Hello? Oh, look, <laughs> I didn't turn on that camera. Isn't that great? <laughs> fix that. I want to fix that real quick. Hello. Oh shit. Is that in your sub? Thank you. you, 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 you. Already here we go. I'd what else to say but yay 18 months woo. Kind of weird of you. Subscribe for 18 months? And then it's also a tier 3? That's disgusting. That's kind of weird, my dude. It's kind of weird. Is it weird? I don't, I don't know. I said that. Uh, hi. Here we go again. It's me. Hello. Surprise. It's not somebody else suddenly. It's still me on this channel. You know, listen, listen. I go live, you come here, and you kind of... kind of know what you're getting yourself into already. You know, like, if you come into this channel, you will see this face. Who's that pretty girl in the camera? I don't know. She goes to another school. I don't know her. So, there's that. Alright. She's got nice hair. She's a hoe, though. Only hoes got nice hair. No matter what you say. Alright. Hello? Jesus! So, thank you. you, 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 you. And then, you know, you know, Cats comes in. Oh, excuse me. Oompa Loompa comes in. Demands that we have to forget that their name was Cats. Katsumoto, right? And then there's Cats. And then now we have to get used to Oompa Loompa. And then shows up, subscribes for nine months, for their ninth month. All right, Twitch baby, by the way. Tier 2! And then I don't even get a message. There's a- it just like it's- oh, subscription! At least- at least Wicked's had the decency to say, Alrighty, here we go, um, I don't know what else to say, but yay, 18 months, I guess, woo! You know? Forever cats! Yes. No, for real though, thank you so much. You shitheads. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Thank you for uh, the uh, tier 2 sub, uh, cats, and thank you for the tier 3 sub, wickeds. I appreciate it. Uh, mucho mas grande. Allegro. <laughs> Caliente. Mmm. Yummy. <laughs> you tell it over a good bird. Oh shit. Alright, let me let me okay, calm down, calm down. Let me greet everybody first of all, okay? Alright everybody, let me greet everybody for first of all. Um so first and foremost, thank you for the hosts, Nulp and Wickets. I can uh, always I I I, appre I appreciate it. You guys are always like, bam, 
<sighs> take my trick my host i appreciate that same thing with uh immediately uh going onto twitter and liking and retweeting that we're live i really appreciate that that really means a lot to me it has it has always been noticed and it's always appreciated so uh it means a lot thank you um welcome back it's hi taco hi nope i hope you guys are doing good the song yo i know it's such a good song um how is this song not copyrighted i know um if you guys uh want to know the song it is called be strong by nightcap by the way um i can use it because i have the uh, license to use it you can't just like randomly play it you know i actually did pay to be able to use it hello steak i hope you're doing good All right. Oh, perk dark. Hey, perk. What's up? I hope you're doing good. And there we go. Cats is here. Yes, I finally get to watch the stream. Yeah. See. Okay. Okay. This enthusiasm did not translate into your tier two sub. Excuse me, but um, I I need I need consistent uh, enthusiasm from all my fans up here for chat from you, all my fans. My flock that is gathering around me. Fucking Ray! <laughs> the noodle flock. Yeah. It's because of all um, the lactose at flo flocks. Wait, is that the same word in English? In, in German, you would say Die Milch flockt. No, I don't know anymore. Um... Who's the pretty girl on the camera? I have replied to that already. I don't know her. I'm 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 a little man with little words. <laughs> da, 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 da. Hey, what's up, bitch? Hi, Zerfer, what's up? It, you know what? I gotta say, Potato. Zerfer, you know, X Zerfer. <laughs> Listen, I gotta say, I really appreciate you randomly popping in suddenly and then just staying here you know like one one day you just stop by and now you just can't leave and that just proves that you know when the noodles are cooked perfectly they're al dente they just stick you know so sucks man sorry i appreciate it no i take that as as a huge compliment whenever a name like keeps popping up and like you know returns regularly and I, I really appreciate that that makes me so happy i always say it one day when we're the one of the big streamers on twitch our regulars will be our mods so <sighs> just Hell yeah. Anyway, I don't know what's wrong with me. I missed the beginning. Are we only fans? Yes. Um, you can find my only fans under exclamation point socials. 
Dude, I should actually create an OnlyFans account just to have one, but never post anything. Okay, I have an OnlyFans account now. <laughs> I have an OnlyFans account now. I, you know, the reason why I create all of these accounts on all of these platforms is mainly so nobody else can actually take my name. Now the only thing, the only th really important thing left to do is change my profile picture. But it has to be saucy, you know? Um, not screenshots, album. Oh hell yeah. I mean, I only have the ones where I take selfies for... Twitter, so... <sighs> They're sent. Okay, I have to send myself a picture because... Uh. There we go, save image as... Show in folder, open with paint. Just have to make it a little shorter. And then I have to remove the nose. That's my trademark, right? No? <laughs> it looks so fucking funny. Wait, how big is this? One... Eight oh eight. Okay, now it's square. Okay, let's save that. You wait! Edit profile. Edit profile. Upload file.
Can I see like how my, what my pro profile looks like from the outside? Wait, let me open it in an incognito window. <laughs> all right, all right, guys, are you ready? I'm gonna catch up with chat and then I'm gonna show you my my uh, my OnlyFans. I mean, you can find it under socials. You know, everything is under Ready to Tina, so this one is as well. So it's very, very, very. Whew. Whew. All right, let me see him. New stream who this? I hope you're doing good, Kron. Welcome in. Hello, Tina. How is you? Tiny. God damn it. <sighs> Hey, just cause. I hope you're doing good. Exactly. Sucks to be you get stuck with this idiot. Uh, I would be more regular if the Earth. Ah, cats. Ah, I I understand. Fucking time zones. Believe me. Hey, baby fuzz, what's up? Just arm me when you need another warrior. I have OnlyFans. There's listen. There's nothing wrong with having OnlyFans. I, I just hate the thought that somebody else creates an account on a platform and takes my name. Which will never happen, because who would want to take the name Ready to Tina? It's unique, right? Like, Ready to Tickle. Like, ever since I changed my name to Mr. Samitaka, I never ran into this name is taken. It is 100% since 2015. Is this the world famous Ready to Tickle? <laughs> Can we go subscribe there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how it works. I don't think so. Not yet. Like, the only thing I would post would be, like... Shit post. But then again, isn't there, like, a something... Something house? Fan... Fan house? Fan... Fan house? It's a place where creators can monetize their social media personalities by posting freely about their lives, like a Finsta close friend story. Finsta? What is that? I don't know, for my personal use, I get. Not yet. <laughs> Game, shut up. <laughs> I turned my only fan off. It's too cold, so I only did it in summer. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. My house is kind of like Patreon, just everyday blogging beyond a pay behind a paywall. So like Patreon. I mean, depending on how people do it, right? If I would have a Patreon, I would want to create like stickers and shit. And like... Sometimes like unique, specific, bigger things. I guess I would... Instead of doing that, I would do... I was thinking, you know, like, maybe, like, you would have, like, stickers and cards and stuff. But then sometimes it would add, like, a shirt or something, like... But then... Uh, it never is clear... How many people will show up with a shirt, so I wouldn't know how to produce it properly. I think then I would go to... Uh... GoFundMe or something. Or what is the other huge page that you can use? Thank you for the host. Um, not Patreon. No, no, no. Like GoFundMe, but different. All right. So this is the link. Onlyfans.com. Ready to Tina. All right. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Indiegogo. Yeah, there's also Indiegogo. Kickstarter, thank you. Yeah. I want to see that picture. Oh, you can't? That's fucking boring. There, this is the picture. Like, don't fuck with me. 
<laughs> I'll post up there. Ah, uh, beautiful. Nah, man, fuck that. Uh, I don't know. I don't even post on Instagram. Regularly. I'm really bad at the social media stuff. Does anyone want to help me? Like, kick me and like, hey, Tina. Hey, it's, it's been a week. You gotta do a TikTok. I love when somebody's laughing about oh, their own joke. I do that a lot, even alone. I do that all the time. I'm hilarious, dude. I'm fucking funny. Right now... What is it called when, you know, like the sock has like their partner? Like you... Their ma matching piece, what is that called? The pair? Potato. What is that called? Ensemble. <laughs> no, like, like when you when you do your laundry and then all your socks have the matching. Like, there's no sock missing. All right. The fuck? Is there a filter on this? No, I don't want to have a fucking filter. Filters are ugly. There we go. <coughs> All right. An even amount of socks. Okay. Welcome in, huge anus. All right. So I did laundry yesterday, and uh, I don't want to brag, but. All my socks had their matching pair. There was no sock missing. There you go. A new, new, new TikTok, right? Tina quality TikTok. Beautiful, beautiful. <clears throat> uh, we're gonna caption this because it's important to have captions, you know. And then we're gonna do, um, uh, killing, hashtag killing me sockly. The second time I use this hashtag, it's very important to me. Um, uh, flips hair is my title. Beautiful. Hashtag bragging. Hashtag brag, hashtag killing me softly, hashtag hashtag, hashtag twitch, hashtag girl gamer. I'm gonna throw up. Um, social media done right. <laughs> I don't take social media seriously. Like, I should, I know, but I don't. The machine usually eats one or two, see? And I never... The couple of times... The couple of times now, like, I have actually paid attention. But I haven't had a sock missing for ages. Because it's only me and I, whenever I'm done with my socks, I put them in the lurdy thing, in the basket. And then I take that basket and then I Put everything in there in the machine and then take out of uh, everything out of it and then I fold it and then it's like it's not disappearing it's all there it's all good 
Maybe I just figured it out. Maybe I, I maybe I'm just better at laundry than you guys. Oh, you know what I did? I kind of started saving my Monstera. I, can you tell? I think so. So my Monstera was really suffering for some reason. So that's why I, I did a bunch with my plants. That's why they're not up there. They're like all around here. You can't really see them. There's another one here. You can't even see this one. Anyway. Um, it, I think there was a like I, I didn't figure out how to properly water it. So I had surgery with the Monstera. So I cut it a little bit and whatnot and I propagated it and um, put it in water. Now I'm gonna wait for the aerial roots to actually have roots and then I'm gonna put it in um, Some soil which is good that it needs to, you know, it needs a couple of days to get a couple more uh, roots um, I basically removed all of the dirt and then I gave it a little shower and then I cut it with a clean knife with um, gloves and stuff and I made sure that everything, you know, was clean and all that, all the dead tissue was gone. And then um, I'm gonna order some soil, some dirt, and then um, we're gonna try again. And if it dies, it dies, but at least I tried, you know, like, I don't really try, like, I, I try to not stress out about my plants. I love my plants, but if one of them dies, it's, it is what it is, so. This plant right here that you can't see, that's my ZZ plant. And that ZZ plant I've had since I was 19, that's 12 years ago. One of my best friends from school gave it to me for my birthday, and I... I <laughs> I've managed to not kill it. That is the only plant I've had for that long. And there's another plant right here. That's my winter cactus. That one also managed to survive for... I don't know, five years now or something? Four years now? It's also the long like the second longest plant I've had. Um We'll see. Right now I'm happy. Even my even my freaking pineapple is surviving. You can kinda see it here. You know? And it's not that I know a lot about plants. It's just I'm just trying things. Like Right now, I figured out where to put them with low light. It's going to be a whole new hassle when it's going to be spring and summer because I moved in September and that was always like lower light, right? So it's going to be like... Meh. You speak to them, right? All the time. I mean, I don't have to speak to them all the time. I speak with to myself and they just listen. Because, you know, they eavesdrop all the time, those bitches. It's like, I have no, I have no privacy here. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. Plant expert confirmed. Yeah, um, that's a uh, part of all of my posts that will come up on my Patreon. They're good at that. When they start replying, it's usually time to go to bed. I, I... Personally think then um, the night begins when they start replying. That means that um, the drugs kicked in. For the plants. Not for me. I don't do drugs. That's ridiculous. I do I do a lot of drugs. I'm so cool. Like I do all of them. Like you know, all of the, the crack cocaine sandwiches. And then all of the, all of this, jo Joannas and stuff. For me, it's I drank too much. The only time I really like had like a hallucination happen. I, I talked about this the other day. The only time I really had like a hallucination or something was uh, a buddy of mine brought pot brownies and I was like oh nothing's happening really you know and then my friend jumped on her bed because we were in a we were in a like a 
how do you say that orientation weekend for the new semester like for the new students and we basically were there with like 30 students just get to know each other and i was one of the um one of the tutors there and so a buddy of mine brought pot brownies we ate them and then my friend jumped on her bed you know we we're like in the room where our beds were and then her bed sheets, which were white, it looked like the way she jumped on it, it looked like it was liquid and it just... It like... There was like drops going everywhere on milk, because that's what happens. And I was like, okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm done for tonight, I need a little bit of air. <laughs> I've never had that happen bef before and e since then, ever again. It was kind of scary. I was like, oh my god, dude, what the fuck, dude? I was like, what, 22? I did coke once, the ice cubes kept getting stuck in my nose. A girl, like, crack cocaine sandwiches only in the morning, really. Yeah, but only, only after, like, it, whatever, whatever it is, only after my morning coffee. Like, whatever, I can, I can take, you know, I can take a, take a cocaine crack sandwich, but only after my coffee. I only crack jokes. I only want to crack my back, honestly. Ugh. I've been, like, doing a lot of yoga lately. And I am realizing how fucking stiff my back and neck are like a lot of stretching a lot of like breathing exercises and stuff and my currently all my my whole like shoulders and back and neck and whatever are very sore constantly there's nothing like but to wait it out and you just keep working on it I was definitely um, more flexible a couple of years ago, but I absolutely like I stopped doing like specific exercises I used to do. I used to, I mean, I we used to play volleyball for like nine years in a team. We used to go on like um, uh, game days and whatnot. What is it called? I'm cracking my egg. I have cracked my eggs every morning. Uh, makes my daily run interesting. Wait, you have crack in your eggs every morning. Oh, I thought you crack your eggs every morning. Match instruments, yeah, 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 exactly. Um, I was uh, part of the... Like, I was just age-wise, just in the middle of two leagues. So I was playing with the older league, which were basically like my friends in my age group and whatnot, but they were like a, a year older. I was like, I was always one of the younger ones in class. And then um, uh, I was also training um, the younger ones that were like a year younger than me. Um, I was just in between. And I was basically going on matches with them. Sometimes I would just like uh, stay on the side and be um, the referee. But other times I would like play with them if we didn't have enough players or whatnot. Um, which was also like, it was it was good because only one other girl in the team um, had her driver's license. Because in Germany you can get it when you're 17. Um, but you can only drive it by yourself without uh, a parent or like a person that has a driver's license for like over five years or whatever um you you had to be 18 and there was only one girl 18 it was 19 and so it was 18 and 19 yeah like in those two years um so to the two of us could drive to the matches because you're like usually six to eight people depending one day we were like even 10 people that was really cool where we were like, no, I want to play. No, you're going to be on the bench. <laughs> that was cool. I don't know. It was really cool to see like those those girls motivated. It was like super old pictures on my Facebook too. From those years. 
I looked through them the other day. I know, it's so weird to think that that was like over 10 years ago. Like, it just see it feels like it's been just, you know, recently. But at the same time, it's like, oh, it's been 10 years ago. Time passes super quickly. That's one of the things that you really have to, you know, cherish time because you don't get it back. Like, it's really easy to lose track of how much time is actually worth and like actually just like stopping and looking around and like appreciating what you have being actually aware mindfulness in general just taking a moment and breathing what is that emote right now yeah <laughs> Welcome. <sighs> you know what's really annoying? You know, you know what's really annoying? Yeah, Steam is being a, a, a bitch. So, okay, let me go here, uh, here, actually. Hello? There we go. Okay, you see the bar on the bottom, right? The task bar. Do, do you see, like, how this is, like, highlighted orange? That means there is an update that it wants to do, right? When you click on it, it's the light, which we're going to play tomorrow, but the app... Ugh, come on. Here. The app is not released, so I can't update it. But it won't go away either. Like, it's not an update that I paused. I just can't update it. Yeah, bitch. So why does it update at 2 a.m.? I thought it was releasing at midnight. It doesn't matter. We're going to play it tomorrow afternoon anyway. Not at 2 fucking a.m. There's no update only on day one. I mean, right now I can't play it anyway because it's not out yet. It releases tomorrow. So, yeah. Acid background. I freaking love this background. It's so pretty. Sometimes I I zone out just staring at the background, just like appreciating all of these fucking different colors. So cool. Ooh, nice. Is it Friday yet? Nope. It's gonna be Friday in about... What is that? Seven, six... Five hours and forty... Wait, wait... Forty-three minutes. No. Forty-three minutes, yes. I'll skip it for a bit and play it in like a month or so. For now, tomorrow is PoE New League. I gotta go hard. You do you. To each their own. I don't know. I don't want to. It's like, ah, uh, man, I'm so, I'm so like, my own brain is in my own way, you know. I have seen people like freaking Madhill Methyl or whatever the hell his name is, you know. Um, play Poe and the way he like knows the game, and then I've seen people play freaking Stardew Valley. I talked about this the other day. People were like, hey, you know what, um, I, um, my, my main game is Stardew Valley and I speedrun it. 
all the time. Right now, I'm doing a two-year perfection run. I'm like, you're speed running the chillest game of all time. Like, come on. That's there was supposed to be. It was supposed to be a game that I just, you know, just chill and enjoy. And no, no, Tina, you have to min max Stardew Valley now. You're not allowed to forget that the first year there is the strawberry festival, and you have to collect Easter eggs and buy strawberry seeds. Min max, relax, beach. Thank you. I appreciate the host. Welcome in. Yeah, no, it's it's ridiculous, you know. It's like, and then my brain is like, oh no, there, like, there's no right way to play a game. And then my brain is also like, but you should pay attention to all of the things that you need to do. Honestly, if you don't fucking min max, you better quit. You DB. What does that mean? That means die Bahn in German. You dumb bitch. De de yeah, it's a, it's a brand. It's like the local <sighs> DB is a decibel. Well, listen. Yeah, that's what that's what per called everybody. Yeah. What's your story? What's your Hi, Nizzy. Perk is like, if you don't fucking min max, you be fucking better quit, you disabel. Mmm. Mmm. showed him. Just there. Hey, Mr. G, I'm doing good, thank you. I'm doing good. Today was um, day nine of my yoga journey. I'm learning a lot of things about myself and my body. And it's really nice. So I found out that for me, um, it is easier to follow like a 30 day program on YouTube. I randomly just put in 30 day yoga and now I'm doing the 30 day flow challenge. It's like very, very nice, like easing into it. If you've never like really done yoga before or whatever, which I haven't. Well, for a short time, but it was years ago, so. My cousin does yoga videos on YouTube, but they're in French. That's cool, though. Hello, Fel. What's up? Um... But yeah, it's been really nice. It's been really nice. I want to do, um, after the 30 days of yoga, I want to do some other uh, course, a thir another 30 day course. Because it's so nice when you do like, you like, you have like that routine, you like stick to it every day, you go back and do it. And then um, she's also like, really nice the way she does it you know um because you do something really exhausting and then in, like right after she does something that just relaxes those muscles and that just makes you feel like you have like a balance going you know you're not never like over exhausted So, yeah. And I'm still sore every day. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. Like, like, I don't know. I, whenever um, winter comes in, I'm not a winter person. I like Christmas time because of the decorations and the mood and stuff. But weather-wise, I could do without winter. Like, nah. I could do with only uh, spring and summer. Spring and summer and spring and summer. Like, as soon as I told you guys, there's like a couple days in, um, in fall, in autumn, 
when there is like a little bit of sunlight still it's called some it partially like it starts to um darken and there's a golden october week it's like one week of like the last couple of summer days and i told you guys actually i was like oh there we go these are the last days and then it just shifts and then it's dark and gray and disgustingly like the weather is really not nice Ugh. and then in spring like the sun the sun comes back and i feel alive again you know i start to like wake up again After the yoga course, find out where all the cracking sound comes from in just three days. I love winter because I get to stay home. In summer, I have to go out and do stuff. Yuck. You know what's nice? I can just stay home all the time. <laughs> I had to laugh today. Uh, when Blanco in Discord. Blanco was like... Hey, Tina, are you still awake? And then I replied to him when I woke up. I was like, no, I was not. And then Blanco said... I, I asked why. Like, why are you asking if I was still awake at 5 a.m.? And he was like, well... The bot that posts on Twittergram, which is a channel in our Discord, for those of you that don't have Twitter, for example, um... It posts whenever I tweet something in there as well. So you can see what I do. If you're interested, I don't know. Um, anyway, I posted a picture or something on on Twitter last night at like 2 a.m. And it the, the bot doesn't like request an update like regularly. Like it doesn't like ask every five minutes. It asks every couple hours. Um, and so I posted at 5 a.m. that I tweeted something when it actually, you know, sent the request to, like, check if I had sent something. Um, and then Blanco was like, well, Twittergram channel had to post that were late as hell for you. And I said, well, Twittergram doesn't request a tweet checkup re regularly. You can see when I actually posted them on my actual Twitter, like, on the actual post. Like, even if you don't have Twitter, you can click on it, right? And then Blanco said, isn't that still a bit late? It says 8 p.m. Wouldn't that be like 2 a.m. for you? And uh, what Taco just said, you know, in summer I have to go out and do stuff. Um, or like... What else was it? It was like something else. About like people with kids that... My friend mentioned the other day. I don't remember. But it's like there is a reason why I choose to live my life the way I live it. I don't want to have kids. I just love being able to go to bed whenever I want to. If I want, if I feel like staying up late, then I just do. And if I if I want to go to bed at like 8 p.m., then I do. And I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. I can literally tell my like what my friends ask, hey, um, you, go, you want to do this and that and that day? And I say no. Then that's that, you know? I gotta work or I don't want to or whatever. I can just live my nice introverted life the way I love it. Being your own boss has some perks for sure. Oh yeah, 100%. It is hard fucking work, don't get me wrong. But at least I get to like do my own hours. I know what I have to do and when it has to get done. Um. And just the fact that I can work from home and it's such a blessing. The humidity is a bitch. Yeah, sake. That's why I prefer climates that are like dry 
and like hot. Like I love desert climate. I loved it when I lived uh, in Arizona for three months. Like just the climate though. Like the climate itself. Just take that and it was like Mwah. The disadvantages of having an office job. Well, I technically also have an office job. But you know. Glad my uh, company offers the option to stay home all the time. No need to go to the office. That's really nice. Basically, every time you send an email about Twitch or think of new ideas and write them down, you are basically working. And then taxes, ATC on top of that. I bet you work more than 40 hours a week. You have no idea. But <laughs> these are... These are the notes that I took yesterday while I was doing stuff in my apartment. Whenever I have an idea, I write it down. Poss possible um, overlays, um, effects that I want to use, stuff that I want to do. Um, just working on my logo, working on my website. It's like, it's ridiculous. It's like, I am constantly working in my brain. But that's also, it also has to do with my ADHD. You know? Um, my brain generally doesn't shut up and the nice thing about being able to do this is that I, um, I have phases where I do so much. I'm so fucking productive. The other days I'm like idling, it seems. I'm do doing other things, but I'm like idling with work. I'm like thinking about things constantly. Um, and I, the best thing for me that I started doing is I have papers on the wall and um, I have pens right next to the papers. So whenever I think of something, I write it down. And every now and then I put all of the papers, all of the stuff that I have, put them together and go through them. Like, was that a good idea? Was that a not a good idea? I have categories, I color code everything. I have a, um, I have a book here. Like this is my work book uh, for things that I want to do that are not, uh, urgent. This is my book for things that are urgent. This is my to-do list. This is my book, um, my calendar for things that are timed. I have a bunch of books. Like I write everything down and I color code everything. I, I'm very visual. I'm a very visual learner. And if I have like I have a whole bunch of different set of like papers here for other things that I want to do. And they have like a motivational sentence up there on the wall. Like, uh, yeah, I'm a very visual person. So, I don't know. I found my own system to be able to get shit done without being frustrated. And thankfully now that I, you know, moved here and everything is kind of like finding its own balance with work, um, like doing my taxes and all that, you know, like all of the monthly payments and everything that I have to do are like doing their own thing. And, you know, I have automated everything. All I need to do is just look into it every now and then and just check. Okay, everything's good. Everything's good. All right. I've been doing this. I've been like I started creating content in 2015. I started doing YouTube videos, and then um, there was a huge like in 2016. I moved cities. I changed my major and all that um, to become a graphic designer. I was studying software engineering before, and then I started studying um, graphic design, and I moved to a whole different city and all that, and then. Um, I would just like sporadically every now and then streaming and doing stuff. Um, after 100 let's plays on YouTube, I said, you know what? 
kind of like the streaming thing. And I was super depressed too. And so streaming really helped me to get out of that depressed state in order to have a routine every day. I would actually have a reason to shower, get myself ready, put on some makeup, to put on some different clothes and like do something else than not doing anything. And so streaming has helped me with a lot of things. Um, in the meantime, I graduated. I moved to a whole different city again. And... I don't know. It's the best decision I've ever made. I'm incredibly happy. Just rearranging the background you have, which is your own home, but to change it for a stream that is work related, new lights. Yeah. That's like, I keep thinking about what the background looks like all the time. Like, rearranging things, putting up the lights in a certain way, or for example, I change the light of, like, the color of the lights and whatnot. Trying to make everything look pretty. And then in the future, for example, when I'll have a couch and like change the room around, what will that look like and all that. I want to um, format my PC, I want to um, redo my, uh, my stream deck, I want to work uh, a little bit more on my mix it up setup. Um, I want to add a couple more scenes that I can just like switch to. Um, a couple more effects, sound effects and whatnot. I want to create more Streamlabs cards, more Dixper cards. Uh, I want to redo my logo, I want to work on my website, uh, I want to continue working on my commissions. Um, I want to redo my panels, I want to change the pop-ups on my stream. Like, there's a lot of things, you know, just off the top of my head that I want to do. And... Yeah, ready to Um... Basically, um, it can feel overwhelming that there is so many possibilities. Hey, Vikings, what's up? Uh, it can feel very overwhelming uh, to have so many possibilities. But that's the thing, you know, those are possibilities, not like urgent tasks. And it's so hard for me to prioritize things sometimes, but... I have learned how to, like, kind of cope most of the time by writing everything down, writing it out of my brain onto paper, and then going through it and color coding and, you know, putting everything on, like, its own page and stuff. Is this for my apartment? Is this for um, my stream? Is this for, like, real life stuff? Is this friend stuff? Is this for my health? Is this for something else? Like. You know, I have to do that. If I am not, like, if I'm not incredibly um, anal about some things, like, if I'm not, like, super um, specific about certain things, they're on my mind. And the way I live is also, like, like, when you look around, I could literally, like, I don't fucking care. I could, like, turn my camera any day because my apartment is always... There's nothing I need to do. Because if I have... There, if there is anything I need to do that I need to clean up or redo or whatever, then it will be on my mind all the time. Everything in its, is in its own spot. Everything is, like, where, it's ne where it needs to be. So it's out of my mind. That's like, that's the whole point, you know, like relieving the pressure of your brain working at 300% by putting everything out of your brain, just putting it down because then, you know, it's there. At least it's there. It doesn't change the fact that I will be absolutely distracted and not being be able to concentrate on specific things or whatnot, but I don't know. 
over the over time you just I, I guess I personally learned how to do it for myself. Like it doesn't like it doesn't change the fact that I spontaneously started um sewing my sweater a little tighter right before stream because I was like, oh my god, what wouldn't it be cuter if it were a little bit tighter? I don't have a sewing machine. I just did it by hand. I was sitting here on the floor sewing it about like freaking an hour ago. I wish it's always in my mind, yes, but things just paralyze me. That's the thing. For me, one of the things that I learned was if it's an undefined blurry cloud over your head, it will stress you out. It feels like it's heavy and dark and it's, it's around your head and you can't see because it's like fog around you. You're in the middle of the cloud and there's so many things and especially with my brain it just like it jumps like it, it's like a pinball machine it just like goes from that thought to that thought to the, to the next to the next to the next right for me and able to clear the air and be able to see be able to breathe again taking those things and be like okay i'm defining you now what is what what is it what are you and then, oh, okay, I, I, I need to find a gynecologist and I need to find a dentist in the new city that I just moved into. Um, did I just move to? Um, I need to do that. And I know that I need to do that. But it's not on my mind. It's on, on the paper. And so depending on, like, I look th over it, you know, I'm like, okay, I have a, a bunch of, you know, when I need to do something, it has to be e like, for example, how do you say that? Um, in order for me to be productive, the, I have to have um, some kind of a specific reason. For example, it has to be super urgent, right? I have to do it because it's like the time, the, the, you know, there's a death the deadline. I need, I need to do it, right? Or I have to be super motivated and inspired inspire to do it right for example or whatever like something like that or there was must be like an emotional reason for me to, or something it doesn't matter for me only specific things trigger for example adrenaline because it's a deadline or dopamine because it excites me or whatever those trigger specific things in me and then i do them if i have to do something just because I have to do it, not because of a deadline or whatever. I'm like, ugh. Like, man, I have to mop my floors and I'm like, is it not enough if I just vacuum them? I don't know why, but I, I can't get over myself. I just can't bring myself to fucking mop the fucking floors. I know it's not that big of a deal, but I, I just can't do it. <sighs> yeah, but I want to, since I moved in, I haven't... Um, like I, I moved in, I mopped once, and I, since then I haven't mopped the floors. I never use my shoes inside, but still, you know, I want to mop it again. Like, I want to feel properly clean, you know? Anyway, the point is... The, the, the point is, it's also because of my allergies and stuff, and I'm like, yeah, it probably could help me, you know? In mopping socks that's actually not that bad idea because that that bad of an idea because that would you know that would be actually fun to do it would also be like working out that day um anyway um what was i saying oh yeah uh i was talking about oh yeah okay so the way it works for me the way i figured it out was really taking the time and getting to know my own brain and the way i work and how what triggers me to actually be productive so let's say you know the deadlines or it being excited and insp inspired to do it right um and if, if i have to do it i don't want to really do it or if someone tells me to do something that i was gonna do i'm like i don't want to do it anymore fuck that 
So what I do is I have different subjects, different categories like health and whatever and whatever like stream or um, I don't know IRL or whatnot. Um, and then I know I'm gonna do this specific thing. It's like no, I'm gonna do something from this category today because I feel like doing something in this category or I want to or whatever. So I have a bunch of options and I'm like, oh okay. Oh, I'm gonna do this. So a couple days ago, I was writing an email about the terms of service about um, commissioning me, right? When I do commissions and stuff because I um, I'm pay I'm starting my commissions again. Um, I'm starting to work on my commissions again. Um, and so I wanted to redo my terms of service. So I basically went in and I was like, okay, I have to reply to this email. But I also don't want to like copy and paste the terms of service here. And I don't really like the way it looks right now. So I actually went in and reworked my terms of service completely again. Um, updated everything the way I wanted it to put like the little footer in that's like 2022 because it was still in 2021 like stuff like that change a couple fonts and now that page is not fitting to any of the rest of the website so now on my mind is like oh yeah I have to go back and do that better I'm like alright I'm gonna do that but right now something that I want to do more that I'm like really motivated to do is like create a proper better logo for myself other than this here which is just my name right stuff like i don't i like i i hope like what are we even talking about anymore basically the way my brain works i'm i got like getting to know yourself the way you work and like really stepping kind of like away and looking at what makes you tick what makes you what, what motivates you what makes you work on something what is something that um helps you to be productive what are the things that you need to get done so you can feel good about yourself you know the only routine that i have are Doing yoga, eating, showering, starting stream. Everything outside of that changes every day. The time I go to bed, I make sure that I sleep enough, but the time I go to bed, what I do any day, I don't have, sp the only things that I have appointment wise are appointments that I set myself with doctors or with clients or with friends. By the way, speaking of friends, one of my friends was working or started working at a, an escape room and um, she was asked to bring, bring a couple of friends so um, she could basically back before immediately jumping into and working with clients um, to bring a couple of friends that she could try out the jigsaw escape room, which is like a horror escape room. Um, and so tomorrow at 5 p.m. I will be there. I'm not allowed to stream it or whatever, but uh, tomorrow's stream will start a little later because I'll be there. Um, I'm really excited because I've never done like an IRL escape room before and I think it's going to be really cool and I'm really excited for her to get that job. She's like studying here and uh, she's like doing that part time. So that's really cool. Yeah, so tomorrow um, stream will be a little later. Um, and this time it's not because I'm just late, but it's because I have a reason to be late, if that makes sense. I wish it's always on my mind, yes, but things just paralyze me. Exercise helps with that too. Toit is like toyga. Uh, things need to be specific. If it's not specific, it's not going to happen. Exactly. Time to play some BR to get some ad adrenaline. I don't... I 
I don't know why. But I feel like the only BR that I would go back and like randomly play would be um, PUBG. It's probably like the only games that I could imagine playing right now, like that are like shooters. Something's annoying me, went back. Um, are PUBG and Overwatch. Good for you, PUBG is now free to play. I, I bought it back in the day when it still cost something. I played it for, let me see. Last time I played it was 2017 and I played it for 83 hours. I mean, is it really? I, I wouldn't call it schmazed. Schmazed. It, it, that's how it goes, right? It's normal. I mean, I bought Destiny and now Destiny, like the big part of Destiny is free. I think they gave us credits or something. I got almost 360 hours stopped playing because my buddy went pro. I stopped playing because uh, I didn't want to play by myself and I started playing more Overwatch and then I started playing other games. Did you know that the first game that I streamed on Mixer was uh, Stardew Valley? And then in the same week, I played Devil May Cry, and then I started playing Fallout. Would you guys be interested in uh, a new Fallout run? Like, I've never played Fallout... F I never played Fallout 3. Uh, Fallout 4, I only played a little bit. Dude, yes, oh, it's more Fallout. I would I really, really like that. So right now, my plan is technically to um, continue Skyrim because I want to finish the story, right? Um, but I was thinking of like starting like a whole new thing. Like I'm starting to like organize the stream a little, like the content of the stream a little bit more. Um, in the way of, for example, like, you know, oh, we played Hellblade, and now we're gonna play, um, Death's Door, and then we're gonna play Dying Light, and then after Dying Light, um, we're gonna continue with Skyrim. So I kind of know, like, the next couple of games that we're gonna play, and if there's a new game, like, releasing, then I will plan accordingly. You know, if I one day in between don't feel like a specific game, I still have the option to switch it. But it is so nice to... Um, oh, he was... He's still playing it. Dude, he's still playing... It did. He's still playing it. He's live since like 18 hours or something. For 18 hours now. Yeah, 7.45. There you go. Fucking handsome bastard. I'm really glad that he's doing variety. It's so much like it's so nice for his mental health, I think. Um I got two moppers at home. My cats do it so they can stay in the house. Uh it's a fact that you uh, that when you are told to do something your brain won't won't want to do it. Especially when I was about to do it anyway. I'm like, yeah, I I know. Don't hassle the Tina. It's habits too. The brain will create a habit when there is a reward at the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. I've made it my... Uh, my goal to do something for my body and soul every day like either meditation yoga workout something like one of i have a bunch of things that i could do at least one of those things i need to do and i have to eat once per day it's like you know that's like 
the minimum requirements I have to myself. It, the little, the, the less requirements I have to myself, the more I get done. Because if I feel like I don't have to do it, I do more of it. Because then it doesn't feel like I'm being forced to do it. Does, does that make sense? And if like me having... Yeah, I eat once per day. I've done that for two years and then I paused. I gained a bunch of weight and now I'm eating once per day again and working out again. Um, I'm only eating one meal per day. It's like intermittent fasting, but you have two hours to eat whatever you eat per, for the day. And then you don't eat for the rest of the day. Now, I'll always eat after I work out. <gasps> Before stream and showering. It's always the same order. It's yoga, eating, shower, stream. I didn't think that you guys are, are so, uh, would be so excited for Fallout. Hell yeah. I've only really played Fallout 1 and 2. I could not get into the new ones. I never played the first two. Um, it was like... I The first time I played any Fallout was 29, uh, 2018. I played Fallout New Vegas. Creature of Habit. I have over 1000 hours of playtime. Damn. Yeah, fun fact, the noodles actually like really started blooming with Fallout. Like we have our core, like our like actual starts in Fallout and horror games. The only thing that really is like a big question mark for me is like, what about all of the texts that you have to read? You know, there's so much to read. So many, like... Never played any Fallout and for some reason never been interested. I just, like, I was never aware of, like, what really Fallout is or, like, what it's about. And um, so I played Fallout New Vegas and that kind of, like, introduced me to the whole world. Um... And then I played Fallout New Vegas. And then I started playing Fallout 4 on the, the PlayStation. So my whole playthrough is gone anyway. But And then Fallout 76 came out and then we played that for, for hours. For like hundreds of hours. That's right around the time where I got partnered with uh, Mixer. Honestly, like I was playing Destiny and stuff as well. And then me starting to play Fallout is what got me partnered back then on Mixer. Because the community on Mixer that loved Fallout was so big and they were all just tuning in and hanging out and like actually hanging out and having fun that it made it so much better in every way. Man, I remember... I remember... It's, it's so crazy. Ugh. I struggle with dialogue too. I play Genshin and there's so much dialogue in there. I'm not really sure how to handle that while streaming. It's so difficult because it's like, I don't want to bore anyone. Like, are you guys really interested in me reading? But then again, I, I guess you don't really care. Sometimes like I'm in the middle of something and I'm like, I realize I have not been paying attention at all to what I've been reading out loud. And I'm like, ah, oh, shit. And then I just stare like, I fall silent at the end of the page and I reread it in my brain to understand what it said.
I love how empty the game feels sometimes when you're exploring. It is like you're out there alone. Yeah, and that's that's what really, you know, that feeling of the isolation, you know, you're like absolutely you're like one of the very last survivors and whatnot, and like you're trying to survive and find out what happened and stuff. It's really cool. I just don't understand why the loading times are horrible on my new PC. Um, no other game has that problem. It's because of the game itself. Uh, it's not... Um... Wow, 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 wow. Give me two seconds. I got distracted by a drop and now and then I created an account for Dying Light and then I created an account for connecting it to Twitch and now my my drops are connected. Cool. Um The loading times can be because of the game itself because it's an old game and it doesn't matter how good your new engine a uh, new how good your new PC is, the game engine might be just shitty. Uh, Skyrim has the same engine, no problem there. Is it a new game or a big save? I tried both and it's the same problem. Um... I don't know. I know I'm sappy and all that shit, but I just like sitting here and listening to you talk. It's comfortable. Yeah, it's, I, I guess it's also like the, like a background noise, right? Like you don't need to actively, like, you don't always have to actively listen to what I have to say. And then sometimes when I do say something that you want to comment on, you can still always comment on it. Is this a shadow or do I have a black dot here? Yeah, it, I don't know, it's dark. But I'm glad that um, it can be background noise for you guys. Like, I, I actually mean that. It, it's really cool. Because I, I like having a stream open. Like, if I don't want to listen to a TV show or music, I always have a stream in the background. It's just nice to have the... Um, if you're on PC, download a mod called Load Accelerator from Nexus. The loading times for Fallout 4 are tied to frame rate. I know, for fuck's sakes, right? So areas will load quicker in 60 FPS than 30. The mod unlocks VSync in load screens to speed it up. Interesting. Uh, if you're using Nexus, uh, achievements are blocked, right? The voice is a calming influence when working, for sure. Not just a background noise, I actively watch it, but leaning back and just listen, it just relaxes me, you know? I understand, yeah. Yeah. I honestly, like, there's a bunch of creators that are super fun to watch, but they're different, like, different moods and different streamers. There are a couple that I can just listen for all the time to, but some I can only like stop by and then I have to leave again. I just want to say hi and then and I say hi and I like what they're doing, but it's only like I couldn't do that all the time. I couldn't listen to them all the time. It's either like too loud, too something, I don't know. And then there's like very few that I could listen to all the time. For example, um, Gladstream. 
because we, were, we mentioned Sean, my kids and I. Uh, Glad stream is one of the ones that I could like. I could listen to him stream all the time, but it also sometimes like it. I do like watching his streams, but only if it's not Destiny. But it, it's not only because of Destiny itself. It's because of like it's a shooter, you know. Like I couldn't watch him play. What was that game that? We were like, oh my god, that's gonna be so cool, and then we played it for like one stream and then never again. Wait, I'll find it. Not New World. What the hell? How long ago? What was that? Outriders. It was in April 2021. Outriders. Remember that game? I couldn't watch him play that either. It flopped so hard, man. There's somewhere I just like listening to. Some I either actively participated uh, or I'm not there at all. New World was what I thought at first. I mean, yeah, I never like uh, I played it during beta. And during our last streamathon, man, we have to do a streamathon again. Wasted eighty dollars. Feels bad, man. I don't know. I feel like you know what I really am waiting for. Are they gonna do? Oh my god! Imagine they would. Is there gonna be? Ubisoft teased the Division 3. You're going to see more on the Division this year. Ubisoft CEO Yves Julemont has confirmed that Massive Entertainment will still work on the Division franchise despite being busy with two major projects, Avatar and the newly announced Star Wars. That is the shooter I'm waiting for. The Division. Say what you will, I fucking love that game so much. Endgame is boring for New World. You know, when I was uh, a very, very young gamer, I never understood what people meant by Endgame, but I not, but I do now. So, yeah. Friends played New World, but the server was full. By the time I was finally able to play, they all quit. Yeah, they quit, and then some specific items you could only get if there's a bunch of people there, and you would, like... I, I, I don't even... There was, like, a whole situation. I had to wake up at 4 a.m. to start the queue and play it around 8 a.m. I'm still waiting for the game Stray. Hey, you know what? I'm not gonna say it. If you see it, it's okay, but I will, I will not. The game Stray. Land release 2022. Oh, the cat game. Lost alone and separated from family, a stray cat must untangle an ancient mystery to escape a long forgotten cyber city and find its way home. Yeah. That's gonna be a great game. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I will take a quick break and then we're going to start playing Death Store. All right. All right, be right back.
some hair oil in my hair because I feel like it was dry. Do I look pretty now? I said hello everybody No? kind of silent here you turned off the music it's kind of kind of rude of you no nobody's gonna reply okay <gasps> god in it okay that was a reply that was enough of a reply How do you not understand what's going on, Dizzy? How do you not understand? Wow. Can I open? How does none of this make sense to you? Like, at least some of it has to make sense. I am kind of uh, surprised. You're a piece of shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You are a piece of shit. You know? Oh my god, I can put this here again because. There we go. That's, that's cool. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's put that here and then we'll go. I, uh, um, thank you for your contribution to this conversation. I appreciate that. I've raised two kids, so I'm fluent in gibberish. Aww. Thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Appreciado. I'm also not just, like, sitting here and like, staring randomly. If files for death store with the same if you have launched this application from another computer, application settings may not be in sync. If you launch the application now, you may lose those progresses. No, I didn't launch it from a different PC. So what did I walk into? That is a good question. That is the question that I ask myself every fucking day. Honestly. So. Uh, open, we're just fucking around. There's a, it's nothing actually like actively going on. Look at us play by play with all of the shit that we collected. Hell yeah. All right, so we have this. We just beat the second boss. And now what? Overgrown ruins, flooded fortress. 
Oh, we're doing this, the, the vittles. Cemetery West. Passage behind a rock. Cemetery. Cemetery. I get to see the Zachary. Hopefully we can remove the pins, but probably not yet. I wish you all the best. Whatever is the best to do, honestly. Ah, oh, cemetery. There we go. Alright, so. What is west? Passage behind a rock. Is this west? I think so. Like, north is there, right? Whoops. Is this where we need to go? Well, this is not where we need to go. How is all of this just for that? This is definitely not the right path, though. So, my problem is I really want to 100% this game. But we have to be okay with 99%ing it. Because there's no way I'm gonna play this game again just with... an umbrella. You know? I have to talk to the big crow. So we're gonna talk to the big crow and find out... You're not the big crow. I think left... I think here... I can't even go there. I mean, I maybe maybe I can. Well, this is higher. No, you can't really like drag yourself to the other side with that. Is this the rock? No. Why was that gravestone shiny? Because there's a plaque, like there's like um, a thing that you can read on it. It says, here lies the someone, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. To the stranded sailor. I mean, we do want to go to the stranded sailor, but simple structure has a twin. A hidden secret lies within. I mean, yeah. To the west. I don't know which way is west. That's my problem right now. It just says to the stranded sailor, but it doesn't say uh, which way is east or west or north. Oh, it's Tina. But Tina has been great. Thank you. I mean, it, this that only makes sense. This is the way to the Urn's which Urn Witch's mansion. And then it said Witch's basement before the inner furnace. There's a stray, a bull carriage. Oh, I remember that. I do remember that. Yeah, there's a path here. We've been here. We've already beat that thing. Wait, there's another one, though. We could go to the other side. Oh my god. Here, this one. Where do you go? Oh, hi. 
Hi, Fluke. What up? Oh, really? That was great. I'm glad we did that. This is a really, really nice looking elevator. I really like the way they did it. Man, I wanna, I wanna model again. I wanna do some 3D stuff. I don't even know why I fucking walked all this way around here instead of just going to the urn which is basement directly at least now we're at the right corner of the map okay, let's see ceramic manor and which is laboratory oh is that the end oh yeah that's the end bus area shit Ah, uh, that's symmetry. Yeah, I guess then we have to go to Ceramic Manor. And the only way to go through is here, right? Yeah, we go through this one and then we go downstairs. Okay, we have to find the stray, uh, bull, which is, you know, one of these, but, like, without anything. There's definitely a secret there. And if on the way there is one of the plants that I haven't put a seed in yet, then we will do that as well. Why can I go here? <gasps> oh my god! You have got to be kidding me! Oh my god! What? That's so crazy! Where do you lead? Did I just fall down? Hello? Why did you just fall, you bitch? There's some stairs here. Alright. There's some... Yeah, we were there, and now we're here. We need to turn this on in order to go in here, I'm guessing, to get whatever was in here. But we already did that, so that's not necessary. Okay, gotcha. Anything else here? I can't see anything else. There is definitely one of these. Oh yeah, there you go. Ah! That's fucking rude. No, no, no. <sighs> 
I need heal. I need healing. <laughs> I never activated this door. Are you kidding me? I mean, I might as well. That also counts as healing. Why did I never activate this door? I guess it was before. I think it was before. It must be here somewhere. There's still a couple subs to climb on streamlines. Yeah, there are. Everybody who wants to should go and claim their free sub. I don't know how to get there. Maybe we, we will just go somewhere else. No, I've been here. There's, it's not here. I think you know. Six still left. Damn. If you wanna you wanna be able to use a twerking heart for example or other things. Yeah, I'm guessing it's before this. Like it has to be before this. That for example. <laughs> I'll set your audio, okay. Make sure that it's very short. I don't know. It says, which is basement before the inner furnace? There's a stray bull carriage. And the only thing that I know there is, is this one. But maybe I'm also wrong, you know? Oh god, I thought I was gonna fall. <gasps> I see it. I mean, not... Did I just... Oh yeah, there's definitely enemies here. Oh my god, that's a big one. Alright, that's just great now. I think I'm gonna use the fire arrow here. Oh yeah, no. Fuck that. What the fuck? There's space- oh, there's space in between. Thought this was lower for some reason. Yeah, you ho, that's what I thought. Ow. That got me? Great, now I have to heal. There's no healing here! Fuck. 
Cheat. 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 Alright. Calm down. Oh my goodness. Wait, where do we go if we go here? I guess I can walk wherever I want to still. Oh, this is, this is not good. Oh god, oh god, okay. Just click, just keep clicking. Oh god. Okay, we're good. No, other dir- Ah, shit. I don't know. <gasps> I fucked that. Where is it? Oh my, oh wait, 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 D different direction, different direction, okay. Calm down. Oh, I was higher up. Shit. Oh, hi. Welcome back. Uh-oh. Nope. God damn it. Okay. We're good. Motherfucker. can't properly aim right now. Where are you going? Oh. How does this help me? Where does this go? Oh, this goes back to the healing area. My head feels... <sighs> I like how the music is... Ah, shit. Oh, man. No, it says before reaching the furnace, there's a stray bull carriage. It must be before we are here, you know? Cause that's the in that's the beginning of the furnace. But 
there's nothing here, no. Beneath ceramic matter, furnace observation rooms. I think it's around here somewhere. Because that's also where this is, you know? Question is, how do I get over there? I think that is made to come back. Wait, go down, down. Okay, there we go. This is nothing. I think we have to go back here. There must be another path that we're missing. It's a wall. It doesn't get more wall than this. Maybe it has to do with this upper path. Can we go on this somehow? I don't know. There must be something I'm missing, you know? I just don't know what it could be. And yes, this is absolutely not vital to fight it, fighting, finding and fighting the last boss. Oh, thank God, my hand was hurting. All right, there we go. Um. Because usually, like these, for example, they have these uh, pallets here. This is what I'm standing on, these metal plates. When you stand on them, they make the bull come to you. This one doesn't have that. So I think what I need to do is maybe... make it come towards me by hitting that side of the bull. Oh, hell yeah. All about increasing health, baby. I don't know, increasing he health and magic, but I'm not sure. I think this is the third one we have. The complete crystal fills your with vigor, raising your vitality. Wait. Oh my god! We get a whole nother health bar! That was the fourth one! Oh my god! Fuck yeah! That is so cool. Hell yeah. Alright, let's go back. Oh. Ah, oh, nice. I like oh. So pretty. This whole soundtrack, man. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Castle Lockstone. Stranded Sailor. Let's go to the Stranded Sailor. Okay, because we have... Only the west of the cemetery, passage behind a rock, left. Let's talk to him and ask him what else there is. Okay, greetings fellow biped. My name is Jefferson, a humble bartender and seafood enthusiast at your service. Could these human hands prepare you a delicious meal today? 
Yeah, yeah, great. One delicious milk coming right up. I sure do love preparing food with my multi-digital mammal hands. Now let me tell you a little something while you ingest the trins. To the west of the cemetery behind a rock. Okay, again. West of the cemetery. There's a rock. Um, passage. But it will require some powerful source explosion. We can do that. But I don't know where it is. One of the forest kids told me they once found a mysterious shrine. Okay. Forest kids. Shrine. They fell onto it when they were playing around on the village walls. <clears throat> fell onto it while playing around on village walls. <coughs> I heard there's a cracked wall deep in some dank dungeons with a secret behind. Did they mean to say dank or dark? Cracked wall deep in dungeon Dank is the correct word. Okay. Deep in dank dungeon secret behind perhaps applying a large force to that wall might open a path that's all i got for you right now all right those basically give us the the tips on how to get to those areas that um increase our health and stuff all right, now that we've done this, uh, I'm going to go back to the main area. And then we're going to increase an ability. Welcome to the soul vault. These all cost a thousand. Or 1,500 for this. It would be kind of cool if my... Yeah, let's go with uh, ranged damage. I was walked the wrong path. Uh, castle locks up. There we go. All right. All right. Now with our new ability, the hawk, we can go to a couple places that we could not go to before, like up here to get that. Key. Lily Luli. Where do we go from here? Oh, that was that. Oh! I have not been here yet. Oh, nice. Okay.
Oh. <gasps> that looks so pretty. I love that. Embedded lights. I don't know why it makes me so happy, though. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. I don't have any points left for melee. Right? Shit, I need more. Shit to break. Da, 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 da. Ah. Hey, now that shiny new hookshot thing of yours looks pretty neat. That hookshot of yours, do you think it could help you cross that gap up there? I just did that. Fucking slowpoke. Beach. Alright, there you go. Gotcha sake. Also you're disqualified, most definitely. If if you if you weren't aware. Da 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 <gasps> oh. Not where I wanted to go. Oh, thank you. I haven't been drinking any water, actually. Appreciate that. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm really bad at that. If you guys don't know, if you guys don't tell me to drink water, I will forget. Only put it there or there. Aha.
Hell yeah! Yeah, we can open this. We have the lock. Uh, the key. Oh, okay. What do we got here? Is that something I can read? No. Oh no! Ow! Fuck. Am I being blind? Where's the host button when not on mobile? It's not there unless you have the BTTV ability enabled, which gives you that. Otherwise, you have to actually go on your own website, on your own site, and use slash host in the channel. It is one of the dumbest things, yes. Alright, let's go here. And, and then what? Dude, and... Oh, up. Uh... Oh! Get wrecked, bitch! Whew. I like how all of those are evening out and then going down together. Thank you, Flick. I wish it was like an easy command that you could use. You know? Sweet child, look at what, ha what has happened to your life at the hands of our chaos. I was never sold on the idea of preserving the course of life and death. Each lord creates the next in succession before their death and teaches them the lord's path. My creator, the lord before me, bound me to their system. All I could do was to try and balance the world as fairly as I could. I tried my best to do the right by the living, especially the pros, recruiting into something they had no business in. If opportunity presents itself, child, ending the cycle would be what is right for the universe. My lifetime was too short to come to that ultimate conclusion, but I remain hopeful that others will reach it on their own. Could be FFZ, but I have the host button right next to the time that it has been on. Yeah, it's a, uh, um, it's a uh, better Twitch TV. That's what has that ability, or gives you that ability. Oh, I could have just gone here. I just realized. Wait, is this where I fought someone? No. Here lies Lord Deadbolt, the fourth in the lineage of the lords. Of the door lords. Their rule was dark but produced efficiency among reapers, an overbearing ruler concerned with keeping order and funding research into other sustainable forms of life extension. We're no only missing one. Oh hey. My life was not easy. The balance of the universe was my duty. And mine alone. The Lord who created me had grand, grand delusions about fate and purpose, but fate did not bind me to death's door. Duty did. Duty. Duty. 
no other could take on the task of controlling life and death, so I bore the burden. I bore it for as long as I could, even extending my life beyond the bounds set by the pitiful anac anachronism. Anachronism. It is death. When my time finally drew to a close, my successor paid no heed to my teachings. I feared their reign may have destroyed the balance I tried so hard to maintain. What a bitter disappointment they have been. Greatness is seldom free, Crow. True greatness may even cost you your soul. Okay, bye. Oh, is that... Hello? Why was this path almost secret? You each? Found some kind of signed co contract? How exciting! This appears to be some kind of contract. It resonates with an uncanny energy. It has been written in an ancient text you cannot read. There's so many that we haven't found yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, uh, 12 we haven't found. What's this? This was the first area. Well, was there anything we could do here? Other than destroying the whole room? There must be a way to get there. Aha! Okay. Oh my god, Tina. Are you the dumb? Nice. Okay, let's go along the wall to not fall down. Okay, this is a whole new area I've never been to. Which is pretty cool. Alright. Alright, well, comparatively, this is a very easy riddle to solve. See how they all even out and then go down? It's beautiful. Well made. Wait, what? Here lies Lord Opengate. <laughs> the third in the lineage of lords. Their rule was steady and without hindrance. A ruler skilled at delegation. They spent many of their years expanding their knowledge while traveling the vastness of space. That was all? Alright. <laughs> Lord O oh, open gate <laughs> Get the hell out. Mm. I like yo your brain works, Flucaroni. Wait, let's actually heal up. Let's go to the center area here. I know that that's where the um, four soul door is, but I want to know if I want to know if I feel the same. And oh yeah, we've been everywhere. Okay, now we can fall down that hole. Do, do, 
da, da, da. Oh shit. Hell yeah. Wait. No, no! No, I wanted to talk. Sir, I wanted to talk to you! Yes. We are going back. Hello, sir. Delicious. Mike Kiwi's fuzzy cheered Dex 500. Oh, noodle, sorry, wrong number, oo bang. Oh, noodle, sorry. Hi, Mike. Thank you for the five five minutes. <laughs> Shit, I forgot. No! What? Shit! I did it! I legitimately, legitimately alt F4 just now. I didn't, I didn't read what it was saying and I tabbed out and it's Mike's fault. I didn't know what it was saying. Okay, let's talk to him. Shut up. Hey, you got that old elevator working. Perfect timing too. I just finished the next chapter of my song. You'll be wanting to hear it, I imagine. No. Oh, no worries. Maybe some other time. I do want to listen to it, though. So you want to hear what I was... Yeah. All right, here we go. I'll tell you a tale as old as time. A classic repeating paradigm. A maiden trapped at the peak of our climb. Our fisherman love driven out of his mind. The hero will right the wrongs of his crime. That was it. Woo, what do you think? Yeah, stun silence. That's what I was expecting. All right, then I'll meet you further up the mountain. Don't get into any trouble on the way, at least not without me. I fucking love the word earballs. My earballs! <laughs> I think she's got a hit. I think, yeah, I mean, of course I do. Oh! Nice! <laughs> Bye, Mike. La 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 la! La 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 la! This way to our camp. See you soon. This looks so cool. Ah! Oh god, that's an enemy! I don't know why that surprised me. I don't know why that surprised me. I thought that was the guy that was singing. I didn't pay attention <laughs> to what he exactly... They, they looked so similar. They're similar. It both hurt. Wow. Here I go. Can I turn this on? No. 
Oh. I love the sound it makes. I have the hiccups. The hiccups do I have? <laughs> oh wow, this is beautiful. Definitely want to activate that. Oh, ice. Ah, uh, wait. No, I don't have a key for here. Welcome to the camp of the free crows, old friend. We knew you'd make it here eventually. What a fluke cheered X500. Yes. Hello. We would like to talk to you about your vehicle's extended warranty. Hi, yes. I think the line dropped. Look, thank you. I appreciate the bits. Extent of warranty? How can I lose? Even if you needed a bit of guidance along the way. <laughs> We are a group of free-thinking individuals who reject the idea of Lord of the Doors. We do not want unnatural immortality if it must come at the cost of our lives. What is the point of living forever if it is to be a slave? No, we choose to live free and die free. So go, climb even higher, defeat the beasts at the top of the mountain and claim its soul. Oh, but make sure you're well prepared before they, you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. Welcome, foretold crow. We live a simple life here, foraging and living off the land. We even use a fur shed by the beast atop the mountain as bedding. Look at all the crows up there. Yes. The foretold crow, it is an honor to meet you. Did you find any of her shrines on your way? It seems there are still nine shrines you have to yet find! I'm sure they will help you on your journey and in the fight with the beast atop the mountain. We all abandon our assignments, which means our life now ticks away. However, we are happy for it. This is the way it should be. Without death, new life cannot grow. Oh, I really thought that there was a path here. There's more over here in the shadows, see? Down here and then over here. Make sure you're well prepared. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. I mean, I can't really do anything here.
Oh my god. But there's a path there, there's a path here. What is what? Wait, is that where I came from? That is where I came from. Get to the frozen cannon. Exercise caution. Okay, so we have to go up here. Red? <gasps> hey! Phew, it's, uh, it's quite a steep climb getting up here. My pipes are still wheezing. You must be pleased as punch though, right? I mean, a secret crow society up here in the mountains? Who knew? And they have so many great stories about their lives up here. Especially about the beast at the top of the mountain. Yeah, I'm getting so much inspiration in our, on our adventure. I think my next song might be the greatest I've ever written. And I've written more than five. Alright, dude. Whatever you say. This way to the beast lair via the old watchtowers. Why is there so many signs? Randomly lying around. Wait, this is the way to the beast slayer. And then we got this path? Where do those go again? This one goes to the frozen canyon exercise caution. Okay. I've trained my life long for this. Wait. Ah, oh, it's timed. Of course, it's timed. Uh oh. No! I mean, why did I want to go here? Oh, it is to come back. I don't w actually want to go there. Okay, got you. No! <laughs> the way I said no and then jumped down was really pretty. You bastard! Oh, no! Oh. Alright. Okay. Okay. Calm down. You stupid crow hoe. No! <laughs> Where are you going? Crow hoe. What if we just walk? Like... Okay. I have to do both at the same time. I mean... I'm a video gamer. You know what I mean? I mean... This is easy. You got it! Wait, can I do it from here? <laughs> Look how, how my plant is in the background now. <laughs> Um. 
I thought I wasn't, but then I was. <gasps> Wait. No. No! Look at me! Did I? Stand still. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to shoot an arrow. My God. Wait, what is the order? I mean, I have to get on here, right? And then I have to get. I appreciate the offer that I can still stand on it, but... Oh wow, I wonder what this area is. I've never done this before. Oh, the floor is shiny. I wonder if it's... 
Slippery. Okay, that's not possible. Okay. How does that make sense? Ah, no! Fuck! Wait, maybe I have to go here. The drops were 12 out of 10. I'm glad you were amused. You know, that's why I should actually also put in my title, Drops Enabled. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> that was funny. You have to laugh or you're disqualified. <laughs> I laughed. Thank you for letting me know. Appreciate that. Dicks of vaginas. Mm mm. Dicks. Mm mm. Vaginas. Mm mm. Wait, that's not the way. <sighs> Eat a Frank. It's not very kind, Doyan. <coughs> Eat a Frank yourself. Um, <laughs> me joining the stream, ducks in Virginia's appear. Yes, eat it, eat it. <laughs> I'm pretty dang good, baby. Okay, okay, I have a question. I have a question. Are we going to... Are we going to get all of the shards? Ooh. 
Ooh, should I do the, uh, all of the shards? Or... We need only one pink shard in... Okay, they said there is eight. We've collected one, so there is seven. Wait, did we collect... How many are there? That's disgusting, Noyan. No backseating? That's not backseating if I'm asking you a fucking question, STEAK! <laughs> yeah, you're disqualified, thank you. Um... They said there were nine left. Minus one. Because we already got one. That leaves eight. One, two, three, four, four. So three green and five pink are left. Thank you. Da 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 um. Kind of. There's a uh, one bed sheet drying on the door, so it's not fully closed, but it's leaned. Close enough. Close enough? <laughs> it's true. I can't decide. Okay, what do you guys think? Should we get the last health upgrade and two magic upgrades? And then fight the boss or just fight the boss? I don't know if we can get the rest of the things after we're done. You know? Yeah, I want me. I want me. It reminds me of when I did my first bet sheet. So it's nice to have the upgrades now. I know. But I personally think. It does make them. It does make. Makes. It does make them easier, but what if after the last giant soul we have one more boss to fight? And in between we can go and... You know... Also, I can say I beat him with only one upgrade. <laughs> I mean... We don't have to. Okay, we're gonna. I mean, I wanna. I wanna. I wanna try. I wanna see. This is gonna be a lot of tryharding and me being a thick head again. All right. This is me being fucking stubborn and trying it. And then trying it again and be like, okay, one more try. There is a. Wait. Go. Go back. Your whole. Your whole bag. There's a secret. Maybe it's a pink one. If that's a pink one, then we have a magic upgrade. So we're gonna have five health and five... ...ass. Oh, great. Found an item. Found a shiny medallion. You're a real winner. Oh my god! What does the medallion say? This medallion belongs to, to the free crows, a breakaway faction of the reapers who have chosen to quit their jobs and live a natural life. Yeah. 
These crows sometimes adorn themselves with a medallion such as this one, which depicts the ancient god who they believe prophesied... Prophesied? Prophesied? The fall of the Lord of the Doors. The Lord of the Doors! I actually would have loved... There to be a pink one. But you know, you know, I can't always. Is the songwriter the boss? Is the songwriter Roni the boss of Roni? The old watchtower's border of the Forbidden Region. What is this? Why can't I do this? Are you supposed to be set on fireable? You are or not? Ah, uh, maybe. If there is a pink one, that's a magic upgrade. So we'll have five health and five ass. <laughs> I did not say that. <laughs> that is such a bad habit. Finish <laughs> sentences with ass. We finish each other's ass. <laughs> How much? 800. Am I too? F I'm too full for a full ass. Who wants to split one with me? Split some ass, baby. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, look at those bitches. Ah! Yo, beach. I have a question. I need to uh, ask somebody. Oh, that was that what I saw. Okay. 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 Sir? Hello? Oh no, shit! No! I'm about to die! <laughs> oh no. For the little 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 Here. Like, hold on. Oh, what's up here? 
It's not potato. Oh, thank you. Thanks for letting me know, Park. Oh my god, those holes. No! Stop! <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> I'm only once missing one heart. Is that is there another enemy before I go there? Yeah, okay. Okay. That's when we're gonna heal. How freaking cute is this little crow? Where them hoes at? Yeah, now I'm more pre preparado. Ow. Oh shit. Oh, that was it. I'm <laughs> so easy. <laughs> Oh shit. Hey, can you jump down? No? Okay. Oh, there we go. Now we have to fight two of you bitches. Dude, you have a, he a heavy ass, okay? It's a little unfortunate. Wait, why can I go here? If I go there... Okay, there must be a reason wh why... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, is this the whole arena? I could have gone there and back. Can go back here as well. That's why I fought these guys. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think this is higher than I am. Yeah, I can't go to the... to this. I think this might be something for my way back. Okay. Bro, that's for that. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we're definitely gonna heal. I don't think we have enough points to upgrade. We just had eight hundred. Oh! Oi! 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 Is it a thousand or is it a thousand five hundred? I think we have two, the two middle ones should be a thousand and the two outer ones should be a thousand five hundred. Thousand five, thousand, thousand, nice. Okay, so do we want to have speed and position and change melee range attacks faster, increase the speed of melee attacks, change to guy. Base speed. 
Do we want to be able to dodge faster or do we want to be able to attack faster? I'm, I'm usually annoyed about the, you know, whenever I attack and it's like one, two, three, pause. That's what I'm annoyed about, so that's what we're gonna go for. That's all the energy I have for today. Thanks, everyone. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you had fun. Do you have enough dodge to dodge a wrench? No. No. That's when I'm out dodged. Or out wrenched. Dang, the weather sure is rough up here. The wind's just howling through my pipes. Still, a bit of bad weather never deterred me before. Especially with the beast so close now. I wonder what it looks like based on what the crow said. It sounds like a proper monster, all hairy and wild. I can't wait to see you fight it. Yeah, I think that's you. I think you are the enemy. How do I get there? that it also hurts me so oh thank god oh that's just lovely Oh hell yeah! <laughs> Assembly the best secret finder. Dead, 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 dead. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, you ho. This seems like a different path than before. I'm confusion, sir. Sir. Is this sir? Oh. Dead, 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 dead. Look at me dead. Oh shit. That's why. I forgot about that ability. I mean, I didn't think that it would also damage people, which makes sense, but. Oh, I have to fight those bitches again now. All right. I'm just gonna stay here on this side. Oh. Yeah. Mm. 
Whoa. Whoa! Why? Why, Tina? Why? What are you doing? All right. I, I can't do that, dude. Oh, it died immediately? Another one? Dude, wh who, what do you think this is? What do you think this is? I'm gonna die to this fucking hoe. I knew it! Dude, if he doesn't if he doesn't die, I'll kill him. I mean, I don't have to kill those. Just jump down here and then go here. Yeah, oh hell, oh hell yeah. I miss Jenna. Yo, ho, Piraten leben gut. Magician bastard. Oh my god, you're behind me. Consent! Alright. Okay, now the only thing is that I have... You can cuss if you need to, thank you. I'm glad, I'm glad. Thank you for allowing that. I think we're all adults here. Well, this channel is an 18 plus channel, so we better be, at least. 18. Doesn't mean that we're adults, but you know what I mean. Oh, it's still one level below. Hi, Beach. Surprise! Oh, it's below me. <sighs> Come on, jump.
too much going on. The laser, the two magicians, and that guy. There's so much you have to... Can you get them ju to jump in the lasers? It's a lot of coordination. It's more like, yeah, I technically could get them to jump in the lasers, but I also have to ch make sure that I don't jump in the lasers. Wait. Dude, these grandma hoes. You know, that's that's just okay. It's okay. Clearly, you know, me having five health points. <laughs> me having five health points is too easy for me. That's why. We're going to start with two. Yeah, I'll definitely buy that. This is great. No fucking way. Get out of here. We're like two bucks. Now I'm annoyed. I forgot to buy them. I'm mad now. I'm a mad woman! Better watch out, you better watch out. Yeah. Tina Unchained. I mean, I do have a chain. Tina can you like point to the enemy here we go Dude, let me at least, like, kill... Magicians. Oh shit!
Get the fuck out! Really? Like, I get here and the first thing I see is... are two of these enemies, really? What a way to say hello. Can I go there? No, it's too high. Sir? your fault. Can I go here? I'm guessing no. That's good to know. Did this one also open? No. So... This is for the beginning area. When you like first get here. Uh, shortcut basically. Is this the way I need to go? Maybe. I don't think so, but... It doesn't feel right. I'm going back right now. I also don't know why there's like this weird square. Yeah, I can't go back here. It is interesting. Oh, no, it is the same height. Okay. Okay. So maybe I couldn't go here yet? That must be it, right?
Wait, no, I, I was here. That's where the two monkeys are. Okay. So it's the Elder Path. 374 points. I mean, most most enemies give one point, and then some give two, and then most like most like big big ones give you um, like 16 or something, some weird odd number. I mean, an even number, but you know what I mean, like a weird number. Oh my god, it's gonna be an ice boss, won't it? Alright, bye. Dude, I don't fucking care. Bye. Okay, bye. Or, or, or no! Not. Oh my god! <laughs> you asshole! Oh shit. Oh shit. No! Oh my god. Did that just fall off? Wow. Chia, chia, cho! Chia, chia. Shit, shit, shit. Do I have to fight him? No. Do I want to? N not necessarily, but we're gonna fail doing it. Everybody know. Oh, uh, yeah. Diddle de diddle de diddle de diddle de. Alright. <clears throat> and this will be more us running away from the enemies. Oh, this is where I would have fallen down. I was wondering where that would go. Oh, no, I have to do the laser area again. Okay. Oof. No, 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 no. You hoe bag. All right, I'll take it. Shit. Shit. Okay. Okay, the magicians are the only ones that are gonna spawn here now. Because they're really close. Alright, open this area. Open up, buttercup. Oh, now that opened. Okay, okay, okay. Go here real quick. Uh, get that seed. Seed-a-roni. Then we're gonna get this. 
and then we're gonna go up here. Uh oh. I think this is it. Okay, I'm taking bets. Do you think the guy that wrote the songs is the boss? I say yes. Must be. Like, whatever happens if we- oh. Okay, this is probably not the boss then, huh? <laughs> Do you want the Spider-Man? The middle finger? You looked? Or hold on? That's what their names are now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hands now. It is my lucky number. Mine too. Do you have a reason? Like why eight? Yeah, yeet. Oh, wow. It was really hard to see anything here. Dude, what the hell? It's like a... Oh, God. Oh, God. Enemy Palooza here. Okay, that's not where I wanted to go, but I guess I'll take it. Because uh, I don't have any chance. Choice, choice, not chance. I also have don't have any chance anymore. All right, all right. You're going there. I'm gonna go here. Dude, you really can't jump that far, huh? All right, come over here. Get your ass over here. Oh my god. Look at all the blood on the floor. Guys, who's gonna clean that up? God damn it. Alright, don't stand on the ice. That's not good. Where am I? Who am I? Okay. Oh god, they have bombs. I forgot about that. Alright guys, come over here. You're both too fat. You're too fat to come here together, huh? Oh, and I can't shoot down, so... Ow. Alright. Nice. That was fun. First, first try by the way. Uh, I hope there's a plan somewhere because, um, oh, <laughs> heal me. Nice. This is it. That's the beast. Oh boy, my heart is pounding. Are you going to fight it? I'm going to stay well out of your way and uh, take notes for my song. Good luck. 
Dude, I don't wanna... I have the hiccups, there's nothing I can do. Oh, that is, okay. Her name is Betty. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, Betty. Not bad, good lady. Nope. You're still here. Your resemblance is very close. Oh well. Nice try though. Betty? Kinda stuck in your pants. Dude, I, I can't. I can't! As soon as she's clo too close, it's not... I'm gonna go pee.
Alrighty. Okay. I made some tea. Because my throat is kind of hurting right now. I'm gonna also, I just decided to take my blankie. There we go. Thank you. Ooh. Dude, I have had a, a coffee today. And then basically, like enough caffeine. But I don't know why I'm so tired. I mean, it can't have anything to do with, my own, with me only sleeping for like five and a half, six hours, right? <laughs> that would be ridiculous. I mean, who would get up? earlier just to play raft right <laughs> who would do that i'm gonna go to bed early tonight oh tomorrow again reminder tomorrow late stream all right but we're gonna be playing laying light i'm excited Okay. Are we comfortable yet, Tina? Let's stream. Okay. Let's stream means uh um so my friend uh started working at an escape room and uh she invited us to go and like test it out. So, you know, she has a couple comfortable uh, people that she can be comfortable with there. Um, so she doesn't, you know, uh, start blindly with, um, new clients. So we're going to be able to, you know, try it out and whatnot. So I'm really excited about that. And then, um, that starts at five and usually I start stream at five. I'm supposed to start stream between five and six-ish. Um, so, uh, after that, I'll basically come home. Dying too late. <laughs> yes. I haven't found like a proper way of dealing with her yet. Like it's easy, technically you have to like spam spacebar. But when am I supposed to kill her? And there we go. Uh, I need some personal personal time too. Late stream suits me on Fridays. Yeah, I don't know how late I will be. I don't know how long it's gonna take, but I don't also like don't want to put like a time limit on it. You know. Um, I'm just gonna go to the city because I have a couple things to do anyway. And then I'll just go there and then. However long it takes, it takes. Alright, setting her on fireworks. Oops. Shit.
Shit. She's cracking. Second phase. Did you see? She's kind of spitting. At least it looked like she was spitting. I don't know if she actually was. Ah! Not spitting. She was throwing ice balls. Yeah, this is gonna take a couple more hits. I wonder if you can... like throw back her ice like snowballs you know well there is no way to find out now but d3 one two three Wow, Tina. Listen. Dude, you're such a terrible person, Betty. Um, what? I accidentally right clicked when I sneezed.
Yes, that's what happened. I'm trying to figure her out, you know? And she's gonna roll again. Three rolls. And then she's gonna throw because we're in the next phase now. I need to figure out if I can throw these back. Shit. Booger chains, wow. <laughs> That's why they're green. Bloody productive fries. <laughs> I just saw it. Nice. <laughs> You know what I hate? When enemies have ridiculous high reach, you know? Did you? Accidentally. And I tuned it out. It's good to know if I ever have like a sneeze attack, at least I'll have one viewer that will not mind it. almost impossible I love the music Look I've said this so many times but hate fake people so much. I need I need points to do that and I don't have any points left.
I'm stuck in the corner. I hate being stuck in the corner in any game. That happened in Hellblade too. I fucking hate that. Come on. One thing I will never expect uh, accept is even though I have 1 HP left, I will not give up, you know? Like I will not purposefully lose just because I have only 1 HP left, you know? Hey, Sincerious. I hope you're doing good. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a couple days. Dude, why are you rolling already? How am I supposed to do anything? I guess it happens when I damage her. a good sign right like either time or when I damage her I mean I could technically just okay I can't I cannot throw those back I wish I could but I can't it's another thing that I have to- I just- all I have to do... And throw a ball. Get burned. Me, I get burned. It's okay, we're getting better. Oh wow. She said getting worsingly. Jump. Bridge slap. And roll. Well. And roll. Jump. And jump. Bridge slap. Well. And roll. And roll. Jump. And bitch slap. And roll. It's all about filling up those shit points to be able to f set her on fire. My face is itching. Shit. The first two phases. 
now we're gonna go to phase three which means uh i might have to learn again like i'm probably gonna die again because it's really hard to those are random you know you see them on the floor shit it was dumb Okay, then we have a wall of these happening, I see. And one more, come on. Okay. She's gonna roll again in a second. Oh no, okay. You can see the shadows on the floor when they're about to hit. Okay, one more, come on. This is my chance to hit her. Get some points. Jump. Did I missed. That's okay. It's more important to not get hit right now than to hit her because I have time. My hand hurts. <sighs> we gather here today to mourn the passing of Betty. To some, she was revered as a god. To others, feared as a wild, untamable beast. Is it re revered or revered? Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, chat. It's been over a week and a half, but who's counting? Aww, I didn't miss you guys at all. No, shut up, you're crying. I've just been a little stressed from moving, but other than that, I'm good. I'm happy to hear. I know stressing is super, eh, stressing is super moveful. Moving is super stressful. And I hope uh, that everything goes well and, you know, everything goes according to plan. And I know you think moving is stressful and then you realize it's always more stressful than you think and there's always something that kind of goes wrong and i hope that it's not you know too big of a deal for you and i hope it goes all smoothly and i hope that you will feel at home and very happy in your new place i appreciate you stopping by and you know i'm i also appreciate you taking care of yourself because you know in all of that all of that stress you're taking at least a couple minutes to you know, stop by a stream and say hi and give that, you know, give your soul a little bit of of a hug by visiting friends, you know? That's also really important. Like if it's here, the Discord, or anywhere else, any other stream or whatever, um, take care of yourself, you know, especially when it's stressful. So take a couple minutes to breathe. Two others feared as a wild, untamable beast. And to a small view, loved as a radiant beauty. <sighs> After many lifetimes, lived atop the mountain, supplying locals with fur and un untimely deaths, chicken now rests. Bow your heads in remembrance, pay your last respects. Her time in this world is over. This is the first enemy, like, this is the first uh, enemy or boss that was not teasing us, you know? We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into other than it's a beast, you know? <sighs> what an incredible adventure this has been, full of twists and turns. So Betty and the beast were one and the same? Amazing! That means a drunken guy at the Stranded Sailor, was he in love with the beast? Whoa! I kind of feel bad for them both now, dead or heartbroken, which you'd guess uh, is worse. They are both kind of tragic. Still, it's great material for a song, huh? I'm gonna start writing right away. Once it's ready, come by the Stranded Sailor sometime and I play it for you. Uh, another demonic soul's anger quelled Reaper. May they find peace in death. Stay death, Betty. And stay death! 
All right, just saying, um, I did not need those upgrades to actually fight this boss, so there's that. Yo, Spark, what up? What up? How many points do we have? Oh, nice, enough. Da, 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 da. Ayo! Oh, space bar. Okay, we need only 6,000 more and then we have everything upgraded. Da -da -da. Okay. I have two cats and a dog now? Oh my god. That is lovely. That is amazing. Spark! <laughs> Well of spirits. I mean, it's not here. We've been here before, right? Was it here? What the fuck? Can go here, 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 her, her, her. Uh uh, that was not good. All right, well, uh. Can't wait for Dying Light 2 tomorrow. I love the story. I love the voice acting. Love the parkour. Oh, and Dying Light 2? Oh, you're playing it already? Of course you are. Did you love it more than cheese? That's not possible. Don't be, but don't be ridiculous. There's nothing that Spark loves more than... Oh! Oh my god. Alright guys, hello! There's so many. Oh my god. Oh my god! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay. Okay, bye. It was probably something up there. But what is up here? Took me more than 25 hours. Maybe you just, just have to get good. Aha! Wait. What the f- It's like the test of all... Oh my god, I have to do it timed?
Motherfucker. Thirty-seven hours. I can't resist not exploring. I mean, that means you're exploring. You're not doing only the main quest, though, right? So, dead ones are scarier more than ever. Oh my God, Tina! Can you do anything? No, she can't. Thank fuck. Oh, there we go. I'm not done with the game. Where's that? Oh no. Get the fuck out. Okay, I can't do that. I just checked. At least he's burning. Whoa! If you're not fast enough, he just comes after you. Okay, okay. This guy is truly a bitch. Tina, don't fall. God damn it. No! Was it the twerking heart? No fucking way he has a fucking shit ball surrounding him now. As if he's not already a rough enemy. My character was like, fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm -mm. I'm gonna get the fuck out. Oh, whoa, 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 what are you here? Yeah, burn, burn, burn. 
Okay, while you're standing there and damaging me, you can at least burn your hull. That's a lovely, that's a lovely new phase you got there. I'm really a fan. Tina, no. Tina, no. Tina, no. Tina, no. No! You go, bravo! Shut the fuck up! I'll come back, Tech. I didn't know you had didn't have power. You never told us. Did he just hover? There's two balls surrounding him now. Shit. I have to melee him. No! Ugh. Oh, he died! He died from the fire! <gasps> Blitz, thank you! A silent servant has been vanquished, and their soul power added to yours. Holding your arrow spell for longer will now charge your shot and cause more damage. You're welcome, smiley face. You're welcome, smiley face. Thank you, smiley face. Hell yeah! Where is my... oh, here. Duke Hi. I appreciate it, Blitz. Thank you. All right, so west of the symmetry. What did that? That is so cool. Wait. Is this a path? That's a path that I didn't see. All right, we have to get all the way over there again. I hope it's not that. No, it's not complicated. Okay. I just want to also get that secret. Um... Oh shit! Go down! Go down! <gasps> no! 
almost fell. Compass! Oh, an old compass. It occasionally twitches and turns uh, of its own whims. It clearly is very old. Perhaps the magnetism inside it has mostly worn away. The compass occasionally twitches and turns, blah, blah, blah. It must have belonged to the explorer who was searching for the legendary door. Uh, if this is a game that's cool with using Dixper, can I cash in that I owe you Dixper time? Uh, I'm playing with mouse and keyboard. Technically, right now, I'm gonna find out what the next step is in the game. I think it's, it's it would be pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, we could do that. I don't mind at all. Uh, let me show you how it's abracadabra. I need to um, change the overlay time to 15 minutes because I think right now it's set to one hour. Yeah. Okay, settings. 15 minutes. Save. There we go. Oh, okay. So now it's it's ha half an hour. Save 30 minutes. Um Okay, and then go to studio mode, Dixper, refresh cache. Okay, we actually had it op uh, had it with this game apparently already. Turns out. All right, Dixper is active. Is this how we get up? Uh, turns out, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's heal, please. Let the games. Oh my god. Binary Blitz cheered X500. Let the games begin. Looks ridiculous. Pretty cool. Thank you for the 500 bits. That was a cool card. Yeah, those are the new cards that um, I added to the to the standard collection. I'm gonna add new standard cards as we go. There's a couple more that like turn it into like a pixelated whatever I don't know, Game Boy style and whatnot. It looked kind of like when we were playing Observation, you guys were using it. It sometimes crashed the game, I think. Uh, but also I think um, it because there was not that strong, that many strong contrasts. Uh, it didn't really do that much. Okay, wait. So we got... Where's my pen? What is my pen? There we go. So we got this one. Uh, forest Kids Shrine fell onto it while playing around on a village walls. Cracked wall deep in the dark dungeon secret behind. What is a dark dungeon?
Might as well. There's a quicker way to go there, of course, but... <gasps> God I mean, okay. I'm guessing that when it says the forest kids try and fell onto it while playing around on the village walls, I'm guessing that they mean the actual, like the center village, you know? This is an action that this is really actually a cool rain effect. I have to say, I think that is the coolest rain effect I've ever seen. That's one of the newer cards as well, right? Oh yeah, that's where I got that one piece from. Ears feel cleansed all of a sudden and just in time to hear mother's song. The heart of the forest is open to you, but please be careful. She does not control those things within her which are corrupted. If only mother's music would calm the two dear plants. Oh well. Our feathery hero! I can feel the forest is very grateful. Okay. Thank you for the water spark. What joy to hear mother's music again. I feel the forest humming in tune. Mm. A crow. Look at that. We have five arrow points now. How cool is that? So now it says cracked. <laughs> now it says cracked wall deep in the dark dungeon. What do you guys think is the dark dungeon? Which map is the dark dungeon?
I thought it was a guy wearing a black hood. Wow, Spark, that's kind of embarrassing for you, isn't it? It's a crow. Not just the okay. bird. Which one is the dark dungeon? Good night, Surfer. Thank you for hanging out. Wow. Youch. That was visually and audio wise very terrible Castle Blackstone stranded sailor What is that? That is it. Okay. Bye beach. Hey there, matey. Thanks again for the adventure. I've never seen anything like it before. And I got enough material to make what I think could be my magnum opus. Want to hear it? All right, here we go. The drawn crow did love a lass named Betty. But it turned out she was a big hairy yeti. The hero and the beast battled till they both got all sweaty. Betty the Yeti got sliced into spaghetti. And now we'll never see that wedding confetti. I was faster than Nop, so Nope is not a bot confirmed. I nice singing, thank you. Did you hit save my Betty? Well, I kind of killed her. Let's call that a yes. <laughs> da -da. Yes, give me a meal. Okay, so we have the cracked wall deep in the dark dungeon secret behind. That's all I have, but we'll see. I want a delicious meal coming right up. I sure do love preparing food with my multi digital and mammal hands. I keep reading that every freaking time. This is the cutest scene ever. <laughs> now let me tell you a little something while you're in just nutrients. Alright, to the west of the cemetery, behind a rock, you will find a path- Wait. I thought we just did that one. Okay, so this one still exists, apparently. But it will occur in some point of power for us to ex- Okay. But there's a cracked wall deep in some dark dungeons with a secret behind. Okay. Oops, applying a large force to that wall might open a path. Okay, since the Frog King flooded the lands of the east, many old structures have become in inaccessible. Yeah, I know where that is. One such structure can still be reached by firing an arrow into the distance through a stone arch. Okay, flooded area. Fire 
an arrow into distance through stone arch. Okay, so I thought that... Dude, he's about to explode. Fifty points, nice. I know. Oh, what's that? Found an ink covered teddy bear. This would be very cute if it wasn't so disgusting. This plush bear was probably quite cute when it was first made, but in its current state, it's a sorry bedraggled sight. Covered in ink stains and small circular blotches, it nevertheless appears well loved. Thick thighs say lives? Oh my god, what the fuck? I must have been there before. I know you agree with me, bro. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. Mmm, Jeffson makes delicious soup. He has dark secret not many people know. But Grunt saw straight away. Jeffson not really professional chef, but Grunt no care. Soup is delicious. Okay, this is another area that we couldn't access earlier. But now that we have the thing. Oh, what's this? <gasps> oh my god! Oh, oh! The new weapons! The new weapons! There are weaknesses in the walls the eye can't see. Beneath a wooden walkway, a secret waits for thee. happening okay that was rude
fuck's sakes. Why can I still go here though? Okay, these are easy to kill usually. I just can't see my mouse. It's really hard to see my mouse. still like he jumps away from me because he wants to do a damage like a that is kind of a weird flex dude If you want to be able to do these an absolutely annoying effects as well there is still a couple gifted stream loot subs that you you literally just have to go into stream loot and claim them that's all you gotta do baby beach why why you do this What is happening? Okay, bullying on multiple levels. <laughs> wow. Stop jumping into the water. Oh, oh, no. Man, now that you say it, you're absolutely right. I should stop doing that. N Dude, I can barely see where I am. Imagine dying now. Queen 
The Asian Shrine offers you a shard from a vitality crystal. You now have two shards, two more will raise your vitality. So how do I get here? There are weaknesses in the walls that the eyes can see. Beneath a wooden walkway, a secret waits for thee. walkway a wall with weaknesses I mean I don't know maybe here there's a lot of space here No fucking way. There are weaknesses in the walls that the eyes can see. Behind twin columns, a secret waits for thee. have changed right just one more I mean, it must be around here somewhere right twin columns That is a big statue. It's already the pathway up. So I don't think it's this. here before what I have not done though is this oh well I didn't do it once more but I will do it now I swear okay. oh fuck yeah Ancient Shrine offers you a shard. Oh shit, did we just get all four? Oh shit! Wait, are you for real? Is it five? Wait. No. 
It was four. Now it's five. I mean, no, it was, it was, it was three in the, wait. That's how you get there. Da -da -da. Oh my god, who did that? Nope! Where is that door? I need the door. I think that's it. Yeah. I see, what's up? 524. Weaknesses on the walls that the eyes can't see. Behind twin columns, a secret waits for thee. What is a column? A pillar. What could that be? Okay. Yeah, that's not it. Well, it could also be, you know, a row and a column in Excel. I was thinking, like, when I was here, I was thinking maybe I can, like, shoot through this. And maybe it's, like, way over there. That's Nob's way of saying, hey, Dixper's done, Tina. All right, guys, thank you. For the Dixper time. Dixper time! Oh. It's not reflect, like... Like, knowing this game... That the eyes cannot see. <laughs> that building you just ran by, this one? I mean, yeah. I don't think it's here. Also, I don't have any points to use my explosive ability, so I'm currently trying to think of a way to reload that. God damn it. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. I'm sorry.
Yay, we're gonna play Dying Light 2 tomorrow. E, a little later stream, but uh, we're definitely gonna play Dying Light. I can't wait. It's already downloaded. It's already ready. Between two pillars. What if it's here? I need to recharge my explosive ability. This is the easiest way to do it. Dude, my hair is growing so fast. It's ridiculous. It's not... Hello? That didn't do much. Do I have to walk all the way up to do... Well, okay, okay, I remembered something. Oh, wait, I can't because I only have one. But technically... In the future, I can, like, just go in there and destroy the crystals in there. Instead of walking up here. Which is not that big of a deal, but still. Okay, now. What was in it? I don't think it is this. Either. And now we have to go up there again. I forgot to open this. They're always using two. Yeah, I love the music in this game. Between two- those are not pillars, right? No. Do, 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 do. Okay, it's not this, either. So let's read this again. There are weaknesses in the walls that the eyes can see, just like this one. Behind twin column, a secret waits for thee. I mean, there is no other big, like... I mean, these could also be columns, right? These ones. Do you want the Spider-Man? The middle finger? You looked? Or, hold on. That's what their names are now. Alright. Nine hands on the mic. Da -da -da -da. Okay, that's also not it. If you guys have any guesses, let me know. Like, that one was really close, you know? So I'm like... I 
I don't think it's somewhere else. I think it's in the same area. Like around the stranded sailor somewhere. I mean, this could also be the... like that. Nice. I appreciate that. It must have been a lot of work to ca count that. I don't know if like how that really works. Like, do you have to actually count that? Oh shit. I never updated that. Is that true? Yeah. 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 Okay. Two columns. I appreciate the biddies. Thank you. Whoever you are, Mysterious 69 Chira. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate you. I have no idea. I have no idea. Why can I go here? Maybe it's just decoration, as in you can fish here. <gasps> nope! Fuck off. We don't need to do- you can live there forever. We don't need to fight twice. What did you do? What did that one thing do? I mean, it did this. Okay, fair. I'm so fucking annoyed. What if it's... If it's here, da, 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 da. <gasps> there are weaknesses in the walls that the eyes can see. Where a giant face stares, a secret waits for thee.
giant face stairs. us to serve those who oppose the Lord of Doors. Oppose the Lord of Doors. There are weaknesses in the walls that the eyes can see. Beneath a gargoyle, a secret waits for thee. Okay, I did that the wrong way around. Clearly. It did work still, but, you know. Um. We serve those who oppose the... That goes into the... To that area. Oppose... The Lord of Doors. Maybe that's the way- it's way to to say... <gasps> oh! It's done! Oh my god, I could have done this the whole time. You found a great sword. This was clearly wielded by a very imposing figure once upon a time. You can equip it from the weapons menu. So damage 1, damage 1.25. Swings 3, swings 2. Range 2.5, range 3. Swing time 0 0.4, swing time 0 0.5. Okay, I see. I mean, we're definitely gonna try that out. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Dude, that <laughs> weapon looks way too big for you. Cutie. We have to go to the frogs mansion because there is an axe there. Like a like a huge axe. You know? That is so cool. It's the urn witch. That's not the right area. Dum, da -da -da. Dum. Bum, bum, bum. It must be he oh, it must be here then. Mushroom dungeon. Throne of the Frog King. I think it was here. Not quite sure. Are you kidding me?
I agree. They did a really good job with this. Okay. This is where we want to go. Oh my god. Dear shithead. Here we go. Goodbye. There's light here. And there's no path to get there. So I'm well, probably going to fall down. There. I don't think it's going to be here. No, this is also not it. I've never been here before. In the dark dungeon! In a dark dungeon! Cracked wall deep in the dark dungeon, secret behind the wall. Sorry, I got super excited. I could honestly listen to the soundtrack of this game always. Oh, hell yeah! Ancient Shrine offers your shard. Now I have three shards, one more will raise your vitality. Okay. Da -da -da. Da, da, da. Okay, we still have the west of the cemetery, apparently. I thought that was interesting. So I cannot just say, okay, this was a fighting area. Oh my god. It was a fighting area, so it's probably nothing here anymore. Is that the same area, but like the other side then? Yeah. Okay. Maybe this is like a sign? Dude, it's so satisfying to kill enemies that you used to kill with like two, sh uh, three shots with Uh, with only two now. I swear to God, if there's another ability... What if there is another ability? What the hell? <gasps> Never mind, there is no other ability, but there sure as hell is a bunch of points to collect. I thought maybe there is an ability that. Have I been there? Wow, so close, but so far away. Uh, 
Okay, okay. Is it a, is that a secret boss fight? <gasps> I told you there is I told you there's light There's light in the middle. I get all the weapons. The weapon crackles with a unique soul energy. You can equip it from your weapons menu. This does 2.5 range, swing time. Okay, so why would I use this? If I can have this. I guess this, this one is easier to find, right? Just making sure. Right? Because this one is stats wise the best. Good morning, Winian. Okay, I mean... Is it re We did just collect a point, right? A health point, right? Yeah, we have three now and blah blah blah. There must be more I couldn't do yet because I was missing the hook ability, you know? There's probably another something I can do here. I am guessing. I've been here. I mean, I guess we can go there anyway. I also want to go to the main area. Oh yeah, this is where I was. Okay. To the main area. Yeah, we- this is another one, I think. That we haven't gotten yet. Hello? Oh, that's where we are. Okay. We're pretty much close to the beginning. Oh my god. Guys, get wrecked. Look at you. Look at you dying. And please don't fart on me. Thank you. Wait, go back, go back. Okay. Maybe a bomb? No. Normal arrow doesn't work. A fire arrow doesn't work. Huh. I mean, we've been here. Right? We've been here before. What I've never tried, though, is... Okay, well, 
I guess we're gonna do it with this because, you know, we're missing that ability. But I've never tried. I think. Hello? Oh, well, never mind. There must be a way out of here. Oh, there we go. Wait, are you kidding me? Oh, then I was here already. Ah. Uh... All right, at least I know now. Maybe now I can... No, I can't. So they said... A flooded area... Fire an arrow into the distance through a stone arch arc arch arc is it arch or arc You know what I'm wondering? Like, this makes sense. This makes sense, right? Why is there... Why can I go here? You know? Yo, Ellie, what's up? I mean, we know that I can't go. Why can I go here? Oh, that's dope. I hope sleep was sweet. Man, I love... Days where I'm just like... I wake up and I'm like, you know what? I don't have to get up today. This is a stone arch, right? Bomb in the waterfall, maybe? I mean, can't hurt to try. So we want to go get here. I mean, if this water stops, right? It is... No. 
Wow. Bedtime, good luck with the rest of your stream. Thank you, Dizzy. I appreciate it. Sleep well. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you guys are enjoying this game. I like playing different games like this. What could it be? And the flooded area, fire an arrow into the distance through the stone arch. I mean, what else could it be, you know? I mean, it, that one really was a was a nice try, some serious, like trying to bomb, trying the bomb in here. Especially because like it doesn't make sense, right? Why? I also can't walk anywhere here. I mean, this is also an arch, right? I mean, it's a... I tried all kinds, like all variants. I I really thought I could just like grab it and pull it over. It said error. It did say error. Let's just go back and like we can come here whenever, right? The portal is right here. Let's just remember what the name of the portal is so that I don't have to go back and forth all the time. Uh, overgrown ruins. Okay. How many points do I have? 7, 8, 63. Overgrown ruins. Mm hmm. Okay, let's try this again. Hello, I'm hungry again. Greetings, fellow biped. Yes, please make me food. I was gonna say, west of the cemetery rock, there is a passage. Please explode it. And then flooded area fire something something. Rest of the cemetery behind a rock. I still haven't found that. I thought I, would f I found it, but I found other secrets. There's Paul for Falls. Okay. Since the frocking flooded the lands to the east, many old structures have become inaccessible. 
One such structure can still be reached by firing an arrow into the distance through a stone arch. Alright, there was a hollowed out wall in a keyhole shaped alcove. Inside castle lockstone. What? Okay, wait. Um, he always gives us three tips. Whenever we find one, he replaces it with a new one. Okay, a hollowed out wall in a keyhole shaped what is an alcove in castle locks down perhaps something useful lies behind that wall In a keyhole-shaped alcove. What is an alcove? Uh. Oh, okay. Okay. Why does he have an octopus as a backpack? Well, technically... Buying death store again? What? What do you mean, buying death store again? Um... Technically, if you look closely, Steve... It was in your cart? On Steam? No, it has a soundtrack and the art book in there because I really like the game. Because I have uh, the game already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, uh, technically, if you look closely, uh, the squid is posing as the man. And by the way, like he's talking, you can basically see him, you know, like the the squid is actually, you know, working as a chef and he's posing as someone that is a human, but it's actually a dead person. You can see like his tentacles are like around his arms, so he's moving the dead person. Yeah. Sometimes he's falling and like he has to like keep him up and stuff. The squid is serving squid. Yeah, right. And he's always talking like, could these human hands prepare you a delicious meal today? Suit yourself, but I assure my food is delicious. Ever since I emerged from my human mother's embryonic egg sac, I knew I would become a chef. Come back anytime you're hungry. Like the way he talks as well. So basically, the squid is controlling a, a dead person, yes. It's fucking hilarious. I hope you're doing good, Ryan. Wait, are, that, are those glasses rainbow? Oh, that's pride high. That's pretty cool. I like that. I like that emote. Vote him off what <laughs> No, we can't. I really like that character. Squids don't control the world. Cows do. I don't know. We have one that is bouncing around here, so... I really don't feel like like sitting differently right now. Hello. What's Just happening? You, so. Thank you. You, 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 you. I have to. Ugh. Nalpador gifted a tier one sub to well, the Reinhardt. Well, well. They have given 770 Yo, gift no. subs in the channel. Hello. Is that a new sub? Thank you. you, 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 you.
Nolpidor gifted Nolp, a tier 1 so sub much. to Opk Minion. They have given Opk. 771 gift subs in the channel. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. No picking the wrong button. Ryan Minion, please enjoy your emotes and watching the stream without any ads. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. There was a room in Castle Lockstone that had a bunch of like hollowed out key keyhole looking sh things. Did you fire an arrow from both sides of the arch? Yes. I did. Da, 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 da. I think it was on the right upper side. I'm not sure though. Let's try it. I mean, okay, there's a bunch of those hollowed out ones, right? And maybe there is not... Another secret after there is already a secret here. What the fuck? There's a lot of those. Hollowed out wall in a keyhole shaped alcove. There was only this here. There was no other. There's a bunch of these, but I guess the one we have to go to. Now I'm peering out of all of the uh, keyhole shaped everythings, which that's the whole building. Okay, this is the room I meant. Maybe there is like something else here, you know? Because these are the only ones that I can remember that are... Hollowed out, like, how do I... Maybe this one, you know, because... No. Oh my god, I could have just gone here. Are you kidding me? Hmm. 
My all-time favorite old-school heavy metal band, Iron Maiden. They're finally coming to my area this year after their five-year hiatus of being here in September. Nice. Okay. I really thought it was one of these. You know? And it's not like after you have found. What if it's this? But I can't go there. Can't go there, it can't be that. I really thought it was here. Now I have no idea where it could be. Da, 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 da. But I guess this area in itself is a secret, so... Why did I do that? I don't know. Can we read it again? Uh, it says, a hol This one says, A hollowed out wall in a keyhole shaped alcove. In Castle Lockstone. Basically, there is a wall in one of those keyhole shaped. Like, there is a, a secret pathway. Behind one of these. But it has to be one where I can, like, walk into. Oh my god. Uh... Do, 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 do. Oh, I've also not been here yet! I've also not figured that out yet. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. I mean, this will drop me down, so I don't want to go there. All of these... I thought maybe... But it's... In a keyhole shaped alcove. It's an alcove. How do I get there? another something I haven't done yet. Okay, okay, okay. I think I've been here before, right? Have I not been there yet? Apparently not. care about the streak honestly 
Because that will just annoy me. <laughs> that just like, I don't know, it loses its fun if I put myself under a lot of pressure to keep the streak going, you know? Oh my god. I found it. Hello? Is that in your sub? Thank you. you, 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 you. Reddit one hello. Hi! It's Ness! <laughs> See, what's up? I hope you're doing good. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for the 19 months. I really appreciate that. Let me add you to the percentage. Thank you. Right back at you, Lini. I hope you're doing good. I hope the kids are good. I hope you're happy and healthy. I hope everything's good. Da -da -da -da. Yo, bitches. Beaches. Could you could you please uh do do the uh, shout shout Missy out like a couple times. <laughs> okay, could I see this from anywhere? No. Wait, could I see it from up there? Oh my god, that just scared me. Hell yeah, we got that one. We got that one secret. That is so cute. Oh! <gasps> oh, hell yeah, that's... Okay, bye. Oh, I came in here and I was like, oh yeah, I can't do anything here because I don't have that ability yet. And now I had that ability. But hit. Da, da, da. There's nothing else here. All right. I think I got get all of the secrets in this castle. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we got this one. Uh, flooded area, fire arrow in the distance. Was it the cemetery? Let's try it. Let's go back to the, um, to the other one. Mushroom dungeon, throne of frog king, overgrown ruins. That was it, right? I mean, yes, I've, I've, I have uh, fired an arrow in all directions. This way and this way. I don't know. All we know is uh, there's a lot of flooded things in the east that we can't access anymore. So there's some structures we can access. But 
by shooting an arrow. Maybe this is not the area at all? I don't think so. Oh my god. No shit. Hello? Can you not walk against the wall? You stupid. Anyone ideas? We've definitely not been here yet, huh? I'm out of ideas, thank you. Oh my god, my neck. Posture check. I mean, I'm sitting very well right now already. <laughs> Not that I want to brag, but uh, posture is pretty fucking great. guys it's your boy it's your boy enemies oh there's these two can't access some areas in the east I mean it's not here right no I mean I really think that that's the area I just don't know what to do. I mean, maybe it's this thing randomly. Okay, I wanna- I wanna look something real quick. Seventy-eight percent. Seventy-eight percent. We have not been here yet. You know that I'm streaming right now, right? Congratulations. I think it's just point? No. Mm, I, I I will not. I don't know. Leaderboard. There we go. Yeah, beach. We 
which archway could it be? Is it arc or archway? I keep saying arch and I feel like that's wrong. I think this would be one of the areas where getting all of these together would also be possible, you know? Like getting 10 of those together. What you thought was wrong is correct. Are you trying to help me out and you looked up the result? Archway. Oh. I thought you were answering the actual questions of life. What? so sure i'm not so sure about that don't so sure about that don't so sure about that man let me just catapult over there let me just go there i want to have the chest i don't understand i love how this looks like one well, is there a plug hole? You're a plug hole. I don't know what that inclines. A plug hole? You know what we should do? We should go to the city. To the city! Something to drain the water. Not that I know. Is there a door to... Flooded fortress. Throne of the Frog King. Mushroom. What the fuck is the mushroom dungeon? Why ever that's called the mushroom dungeon? Flooded fortress. Why is there no music? You're not supposed to be here.
That's how each and every one of you guys entered the stream. A bunch of clowns. <laughs> Dude, if these are bigger, they should give me more points than just one. Bitch, we ain't gonna fight now. Stop giving me fighting music. Oh my god, I'm not gonna... Oh my god, Im remember when this enemy f used to be my biggest problem? I was like, oh no, how will I ever fight you? Shut up, you hoe. Oh my god. Nobody allowed you to fight me, okay? Get the hell out of here. Archway in the distance. This is not, like, a thing I need to do anymore. It seems so much easier. Okay. I know I can get up here because I was there before. Dude, I swear to god, if this spawns the doors again... God damn it, this is not what I came here for. I mean, it gives me points, yes. These are... These absolutely have no chill. These have absolutely no chill. What question does the game change from day to night time? No. Okay, we're just gonna run through here. Without going through all of that again. Go here. Well, we hit those already. I think that's something we don't need to do. Maybe. There's definitely gonna be a couple of enemies spawning. Oh yeah, leave it to me to do all of the... Hi, dude. What's up? Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to. <laughs> okay. Imagine being stuck here now. Oh, I'm not. Oh, my God. Get the fuck out. I mean, also a possibility, which is bye! Alright. Bye, guys! It was nice to meet you. Okay, archway, far away. Is it here? 
I swear I saw something earlier. Not here, maybe around here. Oh my god. Maybe around here. Up, 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 up. This is that area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's that area, that's that area. I'm trying to find like something that I've missed. You know what I mean? I mean, clearly I've also missed the path that I'm walking on. I don't want to hear it. They just stopped putting... Do you see this? It's just empty. Fuck. For a second I got excited because I thought it was this, but it's not this. Archway. I'm ready to Google it. I'm like, I'm down to Google it at this, at this point, you know? Does anyone want to Google and, like, give me a tip or something? Because I don't want to Google it myself. You know? And then, like, just see what it is. That's kind of pointless. But, like, at least, like, maybe give me, like, a pointer. Unbelievable, these old ladies. Maybe it's not here at all, you know? It is here? Oh my god. What level did you just finish? Oh, um... I finished the third boss. That's not what it's about. I'm trying to find the all secrets. And this one said, um, the flooded city with the frog and stuff. I'm back in a very old area. In that area with the wooden paths. I mean, that's all of here. Like, there's a lot of these paths here as well, you know? Or do you mean specifically that area? Because there is an area that I don't think I've been to yet, which is over here. It looks like I can go there. Wait a minute. I couldn't go there, and there is one of those hooks. Oh my god. There's one of those hooks, you know? I think it's around here somewhere. I 
really thought that it was this one here. But I couldn't... F <sighs> I couldn't find it. But that's why I was running around here. I couldn't find it. There's like one scepter thing on the left side that I just can't hit because I'm on the wrong height. Uh, it's on all the way to the left somewhere. It looks like this. Like a mace, you know? But those are illusion maces. So when you hit it, they enable a bunch of... paths. I thought this was maybe an archway, you know? Like, oh yeah, I hit it and then something will happen. Maybe I'll just go over here and try something here. Maybe something happens here. I get so fucking excited whenever I see one of these, but I already hit that. There's just a lot of these around, you know? We're back, so this can't be it. I... I think... It has to do with the right side there. Something with that right side. Because I came... I never... I've never been here with the ability to hook. I also don't know what this means. It's back the other way. Where the enemies are? <gasps> Motherfucker. That's it. It has nothing to do with that other chest. Oh, Sparker's still here! Oh, the wa Thank you for the water. Flooded area, blah 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 blah. Okay, that's done. Now we have the cemetery. West of the cemetery, rock passage. Hell yeah. Thank you for your help, guys. I don't know which way is the quickest. I mean, technically I could just die, but I don't want to die. 
you know. Hey, Frangie, I'm doing good. How are you? Glad to hear Spark. I feel like that would be kind of cheating. Man, the map, like the way they did the maps and everything, this game is amazing. I'm having so much fun with this game. A life coach? What does a life coach do? Flooded fortress. Alright. How many points do I have? 1050. I need 1500 at this point. Or PA or probably both. Probably both. Actually, I wanted to go up here and I will walk the wrong path. So there's that. Alright, so Lost Cemetery. Cemetery. It says Behind a rock I can break in the west, there's a passage. What does that even mean? Oh wow, you're one shot now? I'll take it. Nope. <gasps> no. You have got to be kidding me. This ain't it. Oh, that's not it. That's really not it. So, the tips I get from the from the merchant area person something, those are for the This is definitely one of the doors that I can't get into yet I don't know what is required of me the sports crew's been guiding me through games and such. Uh, life and helping me grow and better myself. That's pretty dope. Sounds cool. Interesting. The head as a keyhole, or is that just aesthetic? Um, there is a couple of them that have keyholes. Uh, as you can maybe see or not see here, you see that very roughly because it's death's door and doors have keys and stuff. Like that's a very common aesthetic. Hello, Kiwi. I guess calling Mike Kiwi is the same as calling me ready. Hello, Michael. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> to see or not to see?
You did it! You are a much stronger reaper than I. I could have never taken down those giant souls alone. It's time, at long last. Let us force this door open, fledgling, and finish our assignments. And now to the other side. Mr. Fluky Boy, goodbye! Stop. Hammer time. time! This is it. This is the place beyond. Where no life is to be seen. Um, hello? <laughs> Class face. Jeff? Uh, are you Jeff? I thought the tales of the original Reaper were just the mad ramblings of the Freak Crows. It looks like the heart is actually standing there. <laughs> the tales of the original Reaper were just the mad ramblings of the Freak Crows. Well, yeah, I guess that's me. So if you didn't know I was real, that means you're not here to rescue me, huh? Oh, uh, I know. I'm sorry. We're here for another purpose. In fact, you might be able to help us? Wow, rude. But all right, I mean, uh, what's a few more minutes after several centuries? So why are you here? Actually, how did you even get here? We seek souls that have passed through death's, well, your door. We are service-bound reapers. We require those souls to finish our tasks and restore our stature with the commission. Otherwise, we will die. Oh, awkward. If you're looking for a soul here, then you're out of luck. Any non-corporeal souls that pass through the door are absorbed into the aether. Soul energy has to be recycled to create new life. That's why my job is what's so important. Not that the living didn't hate me for it. I used to go around reaping souls myself and then pick them up and take them beyond the veil. But it was so depressing. Not for the souls, they don't care, but for the living ones they left behind. I wish I could let them know dying isn't scary. It's just the cycle of life. Thing is, over the vastness of time, I got very tired of that cycle. But then one day, a strange being came to me with a proposition. This being could create portals, doors to any place or world. They offered to outsource that collection of souls to an automated system using one of their doors. While it was open, it would draw in the souls of the dead. A lighthouse on the shores of the Aether, if you will. In return for this, they asked for their lives to be extended. Well, actually, they asked for immortality, but that's impossible. If souls stick around too long past their expiry date, then with nothing left to tie them to mortality, they decay into demonic forms. All life must end. Well, eventually. So while I kicked back, several generations of these self-proclaimed lords of doors came and went, enjoying their unnaturally long lives. Each one agreeing in the end to submit to the limitations of life and go willingly into the aether. Until one didn't. Which brings us to your current lord of doors. Towards the end of what should have been their lifespan, your lord betrayed our long-standing agreement. They said there had been some kind of incident, that the door had malfunctioned and needed to be remade anew. For the door to be reconstructed, it would require the touch of death to link the door to the aether. But after this new door was created and opened, the lord kicked me inside and sealed it shut. No way for me to escape, no way for stray souls to pa pass into the aether. No death among the living. I've been here, alone, ever since. But my assigned soul it must be here, it has to be here. I tracked it to the store. It must have entered here somehow, are you sure you haven't seen it? Sorry guy, if a soul comes in here without a body, it disappears into the aether. 
sooner or later everything that begins has to end. So there is no hope. It must still be here somewhere. No. No, no. I wasted so many years searching for that soul. Decades, centuries. I refuse to die. Uh oh. I sense you're a little bit past your before be your best before date. The Grey Crow. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shit. What is happening? This is beautiful. Not good. I probably can't hit him towards this guy, but I can't figure out how to. Oh shit. Woo. Oh nice, he can burn. Almost got him. Bitch, you've never done that before. Okay. Weird flex, but okay. Oh, nice. Well, I got him once with it. It's like sometimes still burning.
hell is that? Shit. It's sucking me in! <sighs> okay. Get the fuck out of here. He's slowly but surely taking damage. to go there? I don't know. Shit. It's so close. Had fun hanging out, but gonna be headed there. Alright, have a wonderful evening, Steve. Bye. Thank you. Alright. Hit him. He's bleeding black crows. Yo. I don't lose my aero ability, you know? Okay, great. It's really not that easy to control where those are going. Goodbye. Hundred thirty nine times get good script. Oh, shut up! Can only joke if we can do it better. Though at least sixty nine of those deaths were her walking into what? Okay. Fuck out. You're not funny. Don't bother, nope. I gonna know this. I have to go to bed. See you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you for hanging out. I I appreciate. I appreciate you. Thank you for all your help. Oh, it's already half past twelve. Jesus, that went past. Fat tap by fast. Bap bap bap. I think the game is gonna be over soon. Oh, 
need to go to bed, bro. I know. I need to go to bed too. What does that do? It sucks me in. Shit. It should suck him in, but it sucks me in. But I also just want to see the enemy too! Wow. Come on. I mean, the black hole is only generated by him after a while, you know? It's not there always. I can't... I can also, like, hardly aim those. do damage him but it's really hard to aim them like you have to get into perfect position and then it just creates more because it just damages them like it's a way for Do I want to see the credits? I don't think... I don't think... That after this fight... The game is over. See, both in the right direction. Both didn't do shit. Oh shit. Dude, what the fuck? Are you calm? I just look calm. My hands are hurting. <laughs> my 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 left hand is hurting because of hardcore WASDing. <sighs> that would have been nice if that would have hit. Maybe I have to like make him go in there? I'm not really sure. Oh, I can I can also just kill the hole.
All right. Now I have more hope. I don't think there is more to this fight. Shit. Come on. I can't tell you how long it's been since I felt a fresh breeze on my face or saw, well, anything. You never appreciate something until it's gone, do you? I saw a lot of, of that in my job, but until your Lord of Doors locked me up, I never thought it would apply to me. I'm sorry about your big feathered friend back there. It's always hard for the living to let go of the dead. Even more of a rough one, having to rape him yourself. I can sort of understand that feeling. Even if it wasn't your intention, you've made me a huge favor here, Crow. But this isn't over quite yet. Because... <gasps> While the door has been destroyed, my power is unfortunately still trapped in its remains. Forging the door required a piece of my own soul, and I need it back before I can do my job again. That means if we want to end the cycle, someone else has to take down the Lord of Doors. Have you guessed who yet? I told you guys. I won't be making any more deals again, that's for sure. Head back to your office and reap your boss's soul, Crow. And remember, death is on your side. Head back to your office and reap your boss's soul. I'll be lurking here until the job is done. Damn. Man, there's like areas like this that I haven't even been able to open. Time for murder! Nah. I mean, yeah, but not today. Dude, I have one HP left. They didn't even give me the rest of my HP back, these bastards. Oh. <laughs> Look at them. They're adorable. Wow. Death's door is so worth it. Time to schedule murder. Yes. Either after dying light or in between Skyrim or something. Poke them with their sword. They just Potato. they just run away and they hide. They're very cute. My fellow crows, we have arrived at a moment foretold long ago. I actually just wanted to go back and level up, but... Today, death's door has been opened and death themselves have been freed once more into the world. Fear not, for this is not the end of days, but the beginning of a bright new future! The forces of life and death have been unnaturally thrown into chaos for a thousand years, and we crows played a hand in that. We must right our wrongs, we must... It must accept our fates we must reject those who lead us into a future with no hope it is time for the lord of doors reign to end and for us to return to a natural life cycle even as our world teeters on the edge of oblivion souls like this these fourth spirits still manage to emerge through the cracks soon a new age will begin and the world will team with new life for that to happen, the final hours of this foretold day must play out as ordered. ordained. The crow that freed death will have to end the Lord of Doors' reign. I feel like my whole world is crumbling beneath my feet, but somehow I also feel hopeful for the first time. And actually, I think this is the first time I've ever felt hope. Maybe I, maybe I won't have to work so hard anymore. 
all this death and rebirth is a daunting prospect, but I think everyone here is sick of what this world has become. A new world, a new start. I wonder if there will be a new, new, new TV shows too. Ha! So I guess we're all gonna be out of our jobs soon. Finally, I can be free of the rat race. I never wanted to be a reaper, you know? It was just a matter of necessity. I wonder what I could do next. I guess endless possibilities lie ahead. Of course, it all depends on you finishing your job without getting killed in the process. But I reckon you'll get it done, kid. Sure. Welcome to the soul vault. If you don't have anything else to say. I mean... Mm, melee weapon. Oh, nice. Duh. Hell yeah. Specialist! Another achievement. Guys. Show me my achievements in this game. <laughs> Please and thank you. Oh, wait. That's not what I wanted. Here. Uh, today. Guys, I ha I don't even have half of the achievements. Fifteen out of twenty-four collectibles. Fourteen out of sixteen shrines. All seeds collected and planted. Forty-six out of a hundred. What? Three hidden achievements. Upgrade the hookshot ability. Wait. I do have that, though. Access Pothead's secret garden. 100% complete the game. Feed the Frog King an explosive treat. Beat the game only ever using Umbrella as your melee weapon. Beat the game. Upgrade the arrow ability. Oh yeah, I unlocked these. I don't know why these don't have pictures. Upgrade- oh, upgrade the hookshot, not- uh, um... Yeah. Alright. Well... Guys, it's 1, 2, 3, 4 a.m. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It is. I need to get to bed. I'm so exhausted. Mmm, <sighs> cheese mints. Alright, guys. All right. Um. Yes. All progress will be saved. Cool. All right. Guys, I appreciate you all. Thank you for hanging out today. I really had a wonderful time. Thank you so much. I will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow I will be starting a little later. Um, because I will be going to a horror escape room. And I'm really excited for that. Um. I will be back tomorrow for Dying Light 2, and I'm really excited. It's it's a zombie game. Hello? Come on. Come on. I'm really hyped at this point. Like, I'm, I'm really looking forward to playing it. So, that being said, again, thank you for everybody stop, for stopping by. Please make sure to uh, follow me on my socials. And that's the end of the sentence. It's my favorite zombie game, really? Really? Well, aren't you fancy? I don't know which zombie game is my favorite game, honestly. After Resident Evil, of course. I don't know if Resident Evil would be my favorite. I'm so exhausted, I need to get to bed. <sighs> Let me see. Uh, who else is playing this game? I don't know how much there is to the game. So. Uh, I guess.
weird flex, guys. Weird flex. Um, there. I got someone. This is where we're gonna go. Alright. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna go to sleep. Bye! Uh, I don't know them. I have no idea what they do, who they are, what they do, what, what I wanted to read the the potato the thing is. What's it called? The shrimps. Maybe next time. Okay guys. I mean we're not gonna read them, we're just gonna stop by the shrimpies. Because <laughs> I'm super exhausted. Well, I don't really have someone. I mean, we might as well. You know what? We're gonna raid someone that I don't know because Perk said so. Alright? Sorry, shrimpies. Why not, you know? Alright, let's see. Let's see. I don't even know if they're gonna say anything. Uh... Let's see. Let's see. Chaos on top of chaos. Let's follow. Let's see if they're going to say something. The scared clown don't know why. Oh no, slaughter rip. Thank you for that follow. Hell yeah. How are you? Hi. Okay, let me see. Hi, one moment please. Now it's just me and Kevy. All right, guys. Let's dance it up. Suggest streamless things on the credit scene. Oh yeah, I want to do that with Dixper as well. Don't worry, I I'm working on that fluke. Uh, it's exclamation ex exclamation point four later, by the way. Uh, that adds the things, but it definitely is better if you put the stuff into Discord, because you know that way I immediately see it. And like it's not gone, gone, and I don't forget to look into the file. Okay, guys, I'm I'm super exhausted. I appreciate you all. Uh, so again, we're gonna raid a Lynx, guys. Copy the message, um, and I uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. It forwards it to Discord. It's actually not that bad of an idea. <laughs> if it would, uh, though, that would be posted. Uh, I'll think about that. That's actually not that bad of an idea. TBH. Okay, bye. Potato. Okay, music you don't want to play anymore? It fucking froze. Unbelievable. Motherfucking unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> I don't want to spin it.